Previously on the Osrin Tales Live D&D. After wrapping up their prolonged stay in Renea Salinar by coming face to face with a mob boss who Rowan owes money, our heroes travel home to Asari, but only briefly. They drop off Abigail, the now amnesiac Faith, at their guild hall and give her a job. They collect some supplies for their new quest and quickly catch a ship to take them north in hopes of intercepting a new potential ally, an Azamar named Amrian. During their sea voyage, they pass the eerily silent God Skull and remember their battle there against Drazan. And with the God Skull shrinking in the distance as they sail north, trouble literally swoops in on them. Four manticores hunting in a pack descend on their ship, hoping for an easy meal of their favorite food, Rin Kind. During the battle, the manticores fire large spikes from their tails, killing the ship's captain and first mate. But while the group moves below decks to force the manticores into close combat where our heroes are on equal footing, Quothe's sword senses battle against strong opponents and starts tempting him to great violence. Giving in to the sword, he slays a few of the crew of the ship, and Reshi tries to subdue him, activating the sword's curse in full. The sword's grip on Quothe's mind tightens, and while he fights it off for a moment, he gives in to his bloodlust and begins attacking Reshi herself. The sword of vengeance wants blood, and it compels him to attack anything that recently did damage to him. The group gangs up on Quothe to knock him out and subdue him, but he still got a few good licks in on Reshi. Once Quothe was dealt with, the party had to deal with the manticores, luckily destroying them all before any could escape. But what of the ship's crew? How will the group sail the ship without help? And will they run into more trouble on the sea? Find out now on the Osrin Tales Live D&D. Enjoy the show. Welcome in, everybody. We're we're live peoples. Hey, it's episode thir- thirty-five of the Ozra Tales Live D and D. Feels like ninety-five. Dude. Feels like we've been <laughs> yeah. in feels perpetual like, hell that, forever. I mean, so I'm doing my job. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Last week, uh, as you may have seen in the recap, uh. Through one avenue or another, every single crew member of the ship that our heroes are currently on were totally uh, and completely killed. Just <laughs> dead. Just fucking dead. And uh, At least it wasn't my fault this time. True. You know? Deep mistakes were made. Okay. <laughs> Manticores were, were around. Uh, a cursed sword, you know had had its day in the sun um and now everybody is drifting along 
on a boat in the open ocean without anybody to pilot or captain the ship. Um, Is that our boat behind you? It's not. Not your boat behind me. But hey, speaking of everybody, <laughs> let's go around the table here and introduce the players that we have with us tonight. Jobus may be here later on, but he is currently engaged with a family uh, activity. Rachel, Jobus. let him know who you're playing tonight. What's up? I am playing Reshi, a dragonborn monk. I'm also a masochist. <laughs> so we got saying ready. Uh, I'm playing Tail, the kobold wizard, and Paige is his familiar. Got the genie bra. I am genie bra. I am the half elf bard, and despair is my life. <laughs> Got the chat is Chad, a d20. A d20, yes. I'm Quothe, the Goliath barbarian, who is currently, I believe, unconscious on the deck of a ship. <clears throat> so we beat that ass. You may indeed be unconscious on the deck of a ship. Uh, speaking of ships, like I said, you are currently in the open ocean somewhere north of the God Skull. Our little skull, skull does, down here. <laughs> does my portrait give away our location? Um, I did not move your portrait, so I don't think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you put your portrait there last week. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just put it there. <laughs> um, you guys should be. Uh, There's you guys a are big like, roan and a little roan on the map too. Yeah. There's lots of roans. We've been using this map for so long. Um, so yeah, if you guys are we, if, let's say we measure from the coast here. Uh, you guys should technically. Where we ended last week was like you had been like right there, because <laughs> it's a very big map and the things aren't drawn to scale. Um, when you guys fought the Manticore, um, you were north of the God Skull, but uh, like you could still see it on the horizon, so you weren't much more than like two miles north of the skull. Uh, on a boat in the ocean, which I'll remind you, the captain, the first mate, and all the crew are dead. And no one knows how to pilot uh, or sail a ship, uh, especially not a two-masted uh, ship with a bunch of sails. Um, and unfortunately, uh, it's, no, Nixle, it's not on fire. <laughs> it should be on fire in the rain. Wait, wait, the boat's on fire? Uh, according to Nixle, it's on fire. Maybe oh, we should have more. a channel point reward for ad. Oh scene my god, where, where you could just add, oh my god, <laughs> could you imagine? Details. Yeah, could you imagine just being able to just toss a fucking scenario in? Yeah. Also, the uh, everybody's on fire. <laughs> <Wouldn't that be> <laughs> <great>? <laughs> Everyone just takes starts taking fire. Have we reached room? the point of dungeon bombs now? Oh no. <laughs> no. I mean, that's a little too chaotic for me. I like chaos, but that's. That's a lot to keep track of. I like chaos that I don't have to track. <laughs> <laughs> do we, do we, we might need to get a might need to get a a, a secretary if that's gonna be a thing. I just want to be as lazy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, you guys. Uh, so Quothe was beaten unconscious. Um, you guys have at least an hour before he wakes up. Uh, if there's anything that uh, you would all like to First do. question. Yes. Um, I jammed the the wheel with the immovable rod. Mm -hmm. So, in theory, this ship will just keep sailing in that direction. Where would it probably hit shore on the map if it just kept sailing? Um, if it just kept sailing... The peninsula uh, of Dutch apple pies. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, behind the scenes information, uh, our wizard may have burned his finger on an apple pie tonight. Uh, yeah, it was a Dutch apple pie with liquid okay. molten apple on my finger. At least you finger. stuck your so, finger in it before you tried to fuck it, because that could have been way worse. Right? That could have been went, bad. You went straight for, off tonight. You checked it. You checked it before you dove right in. 
Um, I love that you guys immediately go to, yeah, he was fucking an apple pie. Like, it's... <laughs> Wait, you're not Jason Biggs? I'm not Jason Biggs, no. Oh. I'm not nearly as successful or good looking. Well, then get off my show. Get Jason Biggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so to answer your question, let's assume, because I don't know how, to, how like water affects things. It's not physics that I'm familiar with on a daily basis. So let's just assume you're in the vacuum of space and someone pushes the ship and you've locked it into place with that wheel. Uh, if you were to go completely straight and never diverge from your course, you would land somewhere around on this peninsula, probably. Close to where we need to be. But that's like what direction is the wind blowing? Um, it changes depending on the time of day. What um, direction is that currently blowing? Uh, How many knots we, are we doing? In, <laughs> uh, f uh, you're doing uh, three half hitches. Um. <laughs> Oh my god. The what what's the That's Coriolis I effect? Uh, I believe <laughs> I believe warm waters come up the east coast, right? So you're the wind is a north wind, I guess. <laughs> blowing towards the north, so it's at your back, it's pushing you forward this way. It's blowing directly up Genie's wind of billowing. That's the direction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there oh, we go. Yeah. I yeah. There Please you go. abuse your bonus action so we can figure out where to get. <laughs> Uh, I uh, I know everything I need to to know about the ship now. We can continue with the figuring out what to do with. So yeah, you should knock out. No, we can pump go... this for a little bit more advice here. Yeah, if you if you go perfectly straight, you'll you'll hit the coast somewhere around here, ish. Are there rowboats on this ship? So, yeah. I was still on. Sorry, I was still on tail screen for the audience. If they go straight, uh, they'll be around here. <clears throat> Are there rowboats on the ship? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like um, safety boats. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a couple dinghies. I mean, if you were to use them right now, you the best cho best chance of survival would be going to the God Skull, and then you basically have to walk <laughs> the rest of the way. Um, but you know, if you get near enough shore, I say we fast forward a week later and see where we ended up. Roll those we dice. Got, uh, we got a DM inspiration for Chad coming in from Mr. <gasps> <Bingo. clears throat> All righty. Um, so, Thank yeah, you. I was thinking of a flash forward as well. So if there's any last minute things people want to do uh, before we, we just let the we, ship do what it's going to do. Can we dig around on the boat for some supplies and stuff? Um, like, are you looking for anything specific? Uh, I mean, anything that might be useful to us. I mean, it is a boat. They did. Pre I mean, they're gonna, they're they're gonna pack stuff up to to take it out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't have anything specific, but there's definitely you know useful stuff, food okay. or oh yeah yeah you've got enough small, food and small water. Small items, potions. Any is there anything of any kind of? So yeah. Um. The now that there are less people on the boat, you have plenty of food and water and <laughs> beer to go around. <laughs> well, so they had prepared. Uh, let me. Here, let me zoom back out. Uh, when we, I wake up, yeah, actually. hold on. We, I know, because I know what Tail will take about to do. Both of so, his weapons and put them in his bag we, of holding. Yeah. Well, there's two we're... options. I'm either going to kill everybody, or I'm going to start a black market and corner the orange market on this boat. Okay. So How? I think it could go fifty-fifty. So you guys <laughs> have enough. Um, so you're coming from Asari around the thing here, right? And the boat was supposed to drop you off around here, right? And then it was going to continue on to Raven's Blood Hollow, right? So the food and water situation is enough to get your crew to where they're going to drop you off, like around here. And then enough more food and water to get the crew of the ship to Raven's Blood Hollow, right? So now that those five people are dead... <laughs> You have an extra like an amount of food. Like you're totally fine on food okay, and water. So that's not a big deal. You also but have we, all of their rations of grog and ale for the day. <laughs> like we need to figure out what we're doing there's with like extra cool thing, because he's gonna wake up in an hour's game time. Right. And he is just turned into a bloodthirsty fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is the first time it's happened. You don't know if if he'll wake up, like, still in his blood rage or not. <clears throat> what do we do, uh, guys? 
Tail is going to put the weapons in his bag of holding. Because I'm pretty Make sure K-Money wants to just skip ahead. That way he can just grab his weapons, pretend like nothing happened, and then go on <laughs> another go on another um, blood rage in, 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 in the next, the very next moment we get into something. Do we have any way to set our course? Um, well, the boat is currently, the, the wheel is locked into the forward, like, just straight position. Yeah, um, we, I mean, we'll run into the coast and have to improve it from there, but the only person who would probably have any idea how the ship works is Tail, and I'll tell you outright, Tail can't sail a boat. He understands what the things on a boat are called, but yeah. that's about it. Yeah, yeah if you want to, like, try and manipulate the course heading other than just, like, let's see where this thing goes, uh, you're going to need to be making checks. You'll be making checks at disadvantage, basically. Uh, nobody has proficiency in sailing or, like, waterborne vehicles, and I don't think anybody in their background has told me that they were, like, you know, other than Reshi being from an island nation and, like, probably the one who spent the most time on a boat, uh, I don't believe Reshi ever said that they were, like, a sailor or anything, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, y'all at a bit of a disadvantage here, both mechanically and narratively. <laughs> Um, <laughs> a little bunch of Dolvin. Nice. Before we go too far into the sailing of the boat, Tail would like to cast Identify on the sword because he believes that uh, Quote was fixated on it. And sure. find out what he can know about it. Is there anything special that we get to know? Uh, it's cursed as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's cursed as fuck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, is, it is a sword of vengeance. Um, there is a soul trapped inside this sword, um, that all you know is that it met an unjust fate and it wants, basically, it's one of those stories where, like, originally it just wanted, you know, justice for its un, you know, untimely death, but justice was not enough to sate its anger and so it has become a sort of vengeance. Uh, any person... Uh, that does damage to Quothe. Quothe has to, by by the rule, strict rules of the sword, any person that damages him, uh, he has to make a uh, wisdom save. A wisdom save. Thank you. Um, to resist just having to basically kill kill them, you know, fight them until they die or he dies. <laughs> Oh my um, god. I haven't been making like haven't been having uh Chad do those wisdom saves because up until last session, if someone hits him, he tries to murder them. So he was just playing into the sword's wants. It wasn't until Reshi tried to, you know, force him to stop murdering the sailors that it ever, you know, that it was that was the first time that both his instincts and the sword's instincts were at odds. So that's why we like it finally like broke through that. Oh no, there's something way more going on here than him just being like infatuated with a sword. <laughs> um I don't know by the rules of uh identify. Let me look up like, real quick. I don't know if you learn how to break the curses. I don't think I do. There you go. There you can see the whole thing. Did you put it in chat? Yep, yeah, it's in the the roll twenty. Uh, choose an object. Learn the properties, how to use them, whether it requires a tune to use. It does require a tune. <laughs> how many charges it has, if any. Learn whether the spell is affecting an item. What the V. If the item is created by a spell. Yeah, so you don't learn how to break the curse. Um. Uh, I'm going to share the information that the sword is cursed by something uh, to the rest of the crew and let them decide what they want to do with it. You have to put your finger in an apple pie to break the curse. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you too, Nick. I like it. Can I give inspiration to the chat? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> um, I liked it. 
So yeah, uh, but you know, you know, like about curses in general, and you know that there's a remove curse spell, um, that works on. I do like, not know small curses. <laughs> I mean, you're a wizard; you know that that spell exists. <laughs> yes, if but we I knew where remember. something was, could we maintain a heading towards it? Um, we could try. Try to maintain a heading towards it. Does anybody know, like, a spot from where we're at that we could get to if we could maintain a heading to it? Anybody well, have some type of anchor point? I think for what we want to do, um, letting it crash into the coast there is perfectly fine. Rowan use, definitely uh, has no sense of <laughs> how this stuff is going to work. I don't know. I bet you we could use our libido to find an old lady. That might be oh, a heading. Oh, man. It was one time. All right, it was one old lady. It was one old lady. Who you then came back to, and it, it almost killed us. Well... That's a thing that happened. I mean, the old lady didn't almost kill us. The, the, the thing in the house that the old lady resides in almost killed us. Wasn't she that thing? No. No, no, no she wasn't. She, she wasn't that thing. That thing had taken her... Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah. So I was going to say, then I can't give you a hard time anymore. Then I know that you were just giving it to a jelly instead of an Oh, no. oh that's even worse. I was giving it to an old lady. The jelly <laughs> was something else. The, the noises that that made in my head. Squelching. <laughs> I was just thinking he fucked a giant <laughs> fleshlight. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, anything else on the boat uh, that you guys are going to do before Quothe wakes up? <laughs> I don't know. Should we tie him up? Or should we just? Like... I want to tie him up. I really do. All right. Strength checks incoming. Thank you, dude. I want to uh, tie him up. So yeah, Quothe... I'll use the, the the cannon's chain. To That's tie not him to up. say we won't immediately untie him. It's just like uh, right. we we just need to, to talk to him first. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Of of course. Uh, so, Quothe, uh, you wake up. Um, let's see. You guys were below decks. Uh, you, you're you're chained uh, and tied with rope. You're both both rope and chain. Uh, basically, you're like sitting on the floor with like your legs outstretched in front of you, and basically from your waist up to your shoulders are just wrapped around um, a support beam that like holds the stairs up. You know. Um, so yeah, you're, you're wrapped and chained, uh, to a vertical beam, like under the stairs, uh, that lead up to the deck of the ship. <clears throat> uh, the group is, uh, standing around you as you come to, um, you, uh, as per the, the rules of the curse, uh, you must attack something until one of two things happen. That is they, uh, the, the person who attacked you is uh, dropped to zero HP, or you are dropped to zero HP. Uh, you were dropped to zero HP, so you are not in a brain fog anymore. Like, you're yourself again. Okay. <clears throat> Can he talk to us about the sword? Yeah, like, does he know what happened whenever he went into that, I guess, rage or whatever the fuck it was? Um... Yeah. Like, yeah, like if I was to ask, aware. if I was asked to add, ask him, like, what the fuck was that about? Am I still in the? No, he said you're out of it. You're out of it. Okay. Yeah, you're no longer in a blood rage or anything. I was you're... prepping thematic elements. Yeah, I'll be right you're, back, folks. You're, you're fully, <laughs> you're fully yourself again. Okay. Um, I'm going to were... raise an eyebrow. Did you were upside aware down. of what was going on? After that picture that you drew, I don't think I can see anything. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> we'll just yeah, Reggie beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> um, so okay. yeah, what do you guys well, do? Quothe, Quothe wakes up. I mean, you're conscious. You might not be able to see anything if your eyes are all swollen Quothe, shut. But... Can, can we get a little? Can we get a little uh, insight as to what the fuck are you thinking? The sword. 
What about the sword? What the what do you mean the sword? That's all I got, man. I just got the shit beat out of me. Oh my god. Bro, you were beating me up, trying to kill me. You killed all these people that were innocent on the ship, and all you have to say is the sword. Are you okay? Need healing. <laughs> oh my god, you're healed. Please! You're healed. I'm upside down, tied up. Oh my god! I'm I'm I, I, I'm gonna throw him off the boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just woke up. What the fuck is happening? So you don't um, remember? Doing you don't remember? Anything? You don't remember it? I'm sure Vilmar would have something to say if he was here, but he's just uh, he's like moonwalking into a wall, just like. <laughs> Just like, 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 an, a, like a as if Skyrim a, NPC. Yeah, I was gonna say like if he was an Oblivion <laughs> NPC, he's just like walking into a wall. <laughs> There's a chair in the corner, and he's just like walking into it. Yep. Oh, hello there. So, so Quothe is just gonna hello play. There. He's gonna play stupid here. Okay. Do you still want your sword, or are you just gonna be like chill? Can we can we figure out what happened with the sword so we can uncurse it for you? Would you be okay with that if we untie the you? Sword. I thought you were out of this. Doesn't mean it doesn't have hold over me. Oh yeah, no, he oh. still wants the sword. Like that doesn't go away, but he's not like about to murder everybody in sight. No, I don't try. Oh, you get your sword back when we uncurse it, okay? When we uncurse it, because <laughs> yeah, okay. Or when we at least figure something out. You're staying. You're staying. You're staying tied up until we hit the. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I was hoping that we could talk some sense and we could untie you and then get on our way, but this is obviously going to be a problem. So you're f staying tied up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Do spit we... one of my loose teeth at Rowan. Oh. Just spit one out. <laughs> I I'm gonna choke on my coke. <laughs> Spit a loose tooth. <laughs> Holy fuck! T Taylor's gonna pull, uh, pull Rowan over to the side uh, to talk to him for a second. What's up, little buddy? Um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Rowan, do we need to um, uh, do we need to take care of this first before we go do the sword thing? Take care of what? The 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 sword thing that uh, well, it's in it's in the bag, but I don't want to touch it now that I know it's kind of like super cursed and, and and stuff. Um, it whispers to Rowan. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. How many times have you seen Rowan use a sword of any kind? Like I don't even like using my own blade. It doesn't whisper uh, to me. It, it, it knows that that's a waste of time. I can yeah. make you the warrior of yeah. legend. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't whisper to. It doesn't whisper to Rowan, but it does. Uh, it does whisper to you in your head, Quothe, and it's like. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Can we hear it? Can I like slap the bag of holding? Like, shut up. Yeah. No, no, it's, it communicates with him telepathically. Right now, it's, yeah. it's just in his head. <laughs> okay. Dad, is that you? Yes, son. <laughs> Poppy, can you see me now? Uh, <laughs> I kind, I kind of want to throw this thing overboard, guys. <laughs> we can, we can, um, we can take care of this really, really quickly, Mister Rowan. Um, but it, it, it'll be very, very expensive. And what, 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 what did you have in mind, buddy? Um, so, so you, you know how we, um, we went from, from Blood Ravens Hollow to, uh, to, to Reneus? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I can do that once. I, I was saving it because I, I, I'd like to, to learn it, but I, I, I can do that once. Buddy, we're already on our way. Don't don't do that. What can we do? He can teleport us. No, we'll just. We'll just I don't wait. know how. Can I, I use did. the force to bring the sword to my hand? 
I no, swear to God. Your hands are tied down. <laughs> um, we are. We, we, all right. So let's, let's here's take the, a vote. The table talk let's take this. a vote here. If you Do guys we throw him over the board overboard, or we throw the the sword overboard, because one of those motherfuckers is going tonight. <laughs> well, let's just get it to town, and we'll see if we can uncurse it first. If we can't, then we'll throw one of them overboard on another ship another time. If we want to go to town, I can make it immediate. We can go to Blood Ravens Hollow. Yeah, um, but I, where we would be able to find a way to uncurse the sword or deal with this problem. I want However, to break my bonds. While this is happening here, um, I'll make a strength check. Both of you trying I to basically have to play the hidden game and keep this thing Let's hidden. Put you guys on a timer. Quote he hasn't been healed, right? So he's just like, you know, no, no. he has he hasn't no, been healed. He just, just said I was healed. It, sh it should be done. None of us are healed. I'm still wounded. You're not healed of like your wounds. You currently have one hit point, Quoth. I got a nine, son of a bitch. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, that shit should have been a disadvantage. It's probably not breaking steel. <laughs> yeah, probably not. For some reason I put chains on you. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's 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 get to let's get to land and then we'll figure this out. Until then, that sword I, I don't know how you guys feel. I think that sword needs to stay in that goddamn bag. I will not be calm until I have the sword. Well, you're you're chained up, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use Tail, my first wild soul roll? <laughs> Tail is going to do the most awful thing he can do here. He's going to take a big sip uh, from his goblin blood flask and he's can, gonna go over and punch Corpe in the mouth to knock him out. <laughs> Whoa! Why don't we just give him a bunch of the goblin ale? And he can Little buddy. Um, so good. so in order of operations, Chad, yes, if you were to wanted to rage before doing that um, strength check, uh, you can indeed take that result. Uh, I'm gonna go stuff uh, a sock in the real person that would that this would happen before tail tries to punch you so yeah so you could theoretically get temporary help i'm thinking you guys need to calm quote down or he's going to be restless cargo he's going to be unconscious cargo in a second <laughs> <laughs> i just had a lizard that can't even reach me swinging upside down punch me with one strength yeah, but the fun thing about that is I cannot possibly <laughs> miss because you're stationary and I cannot okay. possibly do All less right. than one damage. I cast Calm Emotions. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Would that solve the problem? Uh, who are you? <laughs> if, if your cat... No. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, unless he's casting it on tail. It would work on tail, but it's not going to stop Quothe's want for the sword. Like, that's just a... That's just an innate property of this curse. Is that he wants Even if the he's sword? Charmed. Um. He, what does the you can suppress condition? any effect. A target to be charmed or frightened. When the spell ends, the suppressed effect resumes. I, I would mean, recommend it is before it, I the, start rolling everything I got at you guys to get that sword. That That's my point here. <laughs> is 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 that? whole is the sword is that is that an effect like a um i mean it lasts for a minute so sure i'll say this works you have a minute of both oh a God. being it's calm. not worth it can we just put a sock in his mouth so we don't have to hear him whining and then we can just well, go no on? he's about to start rolling to break out of his oh fucking yeah he's gonna roll with no strength shit. let's say he gets that what's he has a disadvantage he's not gonna be able to do jack shit it's a long trip and that's a lot of rolls <laughs> we're gonna yeah. skip ahead a week Remember, we're not going to be here. <laughs> yeah, so what's a week? Still... Should I do a... Uh, how many should I do then? How many rolls is that? I don't... I, mean... I thought we were good. I, I love that you were like, let's skip ahead. But here we are. Now we're like, a... like, it's an easy of fix. Crying about the sword. What is the easy fix? Give you the sword? No. Give me the sword the and keep me incapacitated. Like, no, listen, <laughs> listen. Keep me incapacitated with the sword. So basically, you stuck a sucker in my mouth and I'm happy. And you got me tied up and out of the way. Otherwise, I... I'm going to start rolling strength and rage and everything else. And it may not do anything, but it's definitely going to slow you down That's and harass stupid you. stupid because the sword's still going to be like, kill these people. And then you're going to be like, okay, I'll do it. And then you do it. No, it doesn't work that way. The sword doesn't work that way. That's how it worked last week. I'm just saying.
am I wrong? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, last week the the sword was encouraging him to kill things because it sensed like prey around, and Quothe uh, <laughs> mentioned that you know he should attack things, you know, and the they have a mental link, so the sword picked up on his violent intentions and was just encouraging him to kill stuff. He never specified oh. what it what he should kill. He just said he should kill stuff, and both they gave in to the, the suggestions of murder and killed the crew. It wasn't until you attacked him that he had to make the wisdom saving throw. Mm, I wasn't okay. expecting him to murder the crew of the ship. I thought he would go back out there and try and fucking kill one of the <laughs> manticores or something. So we're gonna let him sit next to the sword, or we're just gonna do this whole week thing of him. I am rolling. not taking that sword out of my bag. It's not happening. Okay, uh, so we have it, a week of rolls. He, uh, he Nick can... says uh, to put uh, hit him in the head with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Tails already punched him in the mouth and knock him out for another couple hours. I for real want to do that because he has one HP. So this is the one time Tail can be strong. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, all right. I'll roll a d4. See how long you knock him out for. Cool. You danger sense him trying to punch you. You're tied up, so you can't dodge out of the way of this. And he punches <laughs> you in the face. Uh, both of you're knocked out for two hours. All right, guys. You have you've got two hours. Oh my god. I don't. I will say this. I. Don't want to keep replaying this scene over and over at no, nauseam. I have stuff to, I have like an encounter to do tonight. So well, if there's no. anything different that you're gonna do other than just <laughs> let him just be tied up, Quothe, uh, you're probably not going to be able to break through steel chains even with your strength. <laughs> so they, I mean, unless you guys are gonna do something drastically different than what the last 30 minutes have been. Let me know. Otherwise, we can skip forward. Both they will remain tied up, regardless of how badly he whines about the sword, because he's not going to be busting Thank out you. of fucking yes. steel chains. Let us get to land, and we'll figure this shit out. Give okay. me the sword. Shh, shut up. <sighs> You're knocked out. <laughs> In this sword. Fast forward. Fast forward to, 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 to landfall. Yep. Uh, yes. I don't know. We fast forward. You do not see land. You're still out oh in the open God. ocean. The seas start getting choppy. You don't Mother. see a storm or anything, but the ship starts rocking. It's very, you know, turbulent sea waves for you. Chad, uh, is still tied up. It's been a few days at this point. You know, people have been, like, feeding you or whatever. But, uh... You may be, uh, you may have soiled yourself a few times at this point, uh, but you're still tied up. Uh, the the chains it. and the, you've you've managed to break through some of the rope, uh, but the the chains are just they're not budging. Like these are fucking nice fresh chains, uh, meant to literally hold a cannon, <laughs> anchored in place. Like you're not breaking through these chains. Um, Anybody who is on the deck of the ship, while once the sea starts rocking, uh, give me a perception check. Um, and if you're in the, if is uh, is anyone in the crow's nest at this point? I think we're all down below, or unless we moved, I guess. I mean, this is a couple days later, Rachel. Right, right. Multiple right. days later, so you don't have to like you can oof, be wherever oof, the hell oof. you want in the thing. If uh, if so. Hale's got a perception of 18. He's on the deck. Uh, if anybody decides to be in the crow's nest, you can make this check with advantage. Uh, but only one person can be in the crow's nest at a time. It's not big enough to house multiple. <clears throat> Ooh, critical hit. This is just... <clears throat> uh, I'll roll for Vilmar. He don't see shit. His plate helmet is closed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he I don't want to. Uh, he rolls a two because I don't know why his sheet was on advantage. 
Uh, he rolls a two, so yeah, his, his his helmet was closed. He don't see shit. Uh, Rowan will assume you're below deck because you didn't roll. Uh, Reshi and Tail, at least, you rolled high enough. Uh, the sea is getting choppy because there's a fucking whirlpool in front of you. Oh, we went to the right. Great. I had a feeling that what was happening. You, uh, you did indeed, uh, drift a little bit to the right because no one was steering A little bit, ship. huh? Just a little bit. You know, with the ocean. So, again, the Coriolis effect, man. It's a, it's a clockwise fucking current of water. Like, you're going to get pulled north. Uh, northeast eventually. <laughs> Currents and wind, baby. Currents and wind. Uh, you guys are heading into this fucking whirlpool. You don't know how to pilot a ship. What are you gonna do? Spin the wheel. Boop, boop. I don't know. Can we, like, try and spin the thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can try. You can try and you can try. I mean, like, uh, how hard is that to just like spin the, the whatever it's called? It's not. Um, make a. Let's say. Um, let's make it wisdom. Just a flat wisdom check at disadvantage. So if you have like a skill on your character sheet that's wisdom based that isn't uh, proficient. Or even if you are proficient in something like insight, just uncheck the box and make it a uh, disadvantage. <sighs> or I guess you could put your sheet at disadvantage and click the wisdom box. That might work. That would work too. Um, but whatever it is, it would be a wisdom check to see like, you know, one of those things like, do I, is it like driving a car? Do I turn into the skid or do I go away from the, like, you know, that kind of decision. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> Genie. Uh, with a five, uh, you turn the wheel the with wrong a nat way. With a net 20. <laughs> with a nat 20 and a five at this event. Baby. Oh. Ah. Uh, you turn the wheel the wrong way. You you steer the boat towards <laughs> the center <laughs> of this whirlpool. Your boat, uh, now going towards <laughs> the whirlpool, gets caught up in the circular spin, and you are spinning. The boat is spinning around and around. It's like you're you're circling the drain, uh, and you're slowly starting the water Oops, level guys. is like the horizon is rising rising above. Like your the boat is starting to go down. Um, the ship is tilting on its side as like uh like imagine you ever see the the uh what is it the death uh sp the spiral or whatever like at the like what a uh, uh, evil can evil would do you know. It's like that big no. wooden ring, and he like rides his motorcycle horizontally on the walls. It's a centripetal force. It's like that. Your boat is starting to like tip over as it's spinning faster and faster down this whirlpool. Uh, if you guys want to make another check, uh, I did. I rolled, goes, but I don't know if it's gonna be helpful. Uh, a four? Yeah, no. You again? You just make it <laughs> worse, and instead yeah, of going horizontally. In Rashi, you just, you're like, <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to put the motivations uh, in your head, but from an outside perspective, it's almost as if Rashi said, fuck it, just <laughs> right down into the hole. Um, Good. I need Good. everybody but Quothe, uh, who's on the deck of the ship, which I think is everybody right now. Um, everybody but Quothe needs to make a disadvantaged dexterity saving throw, because this boat <laughs> is basically vertical right now. <clears throat> I'm on a swing set. Uh, yeah, you're tied to a pole, so you're good. <laughs> you're not going to be... Critical fail! Ah, wow. That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm okay here. Nice. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> St. Grady just cast Fireball. I've, I, was, I was under the deck at some point, so I'm sure I just grabbed onto... Quote, because I already know he's like he's like hooked up to the boat. <laughs> you just hanging sideways <laughs> off his ass. The boat is like sideways. I'm all, I'm like I'm like. You, if you you know like on Legend of the Hidden Temple, you know when they'd have to jump on the like the the thing that would like slide down or like Ninja Warrior where they have to hold on to the the like punching bag looking apparatus that like flings around. I'm just like <laughs> on him like this, just like. <laughs> <laughs> he's just swinging around like one of those uh, uh, inflatable missed, clown missed those it. clown things that just 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am covered in shit and piss, by the way. <laughs> it doesn't matter at this point. It doesn't okay. matter at this point. Um, so, Vilmar got an eight. Uh, Tail got a two. You guys fail. Uh, Reshi, Genie, you both succeed. Uh, here's what happens. The boat goes, you know, it, the whirlpool acts like a funnel, right? So eventually that bottom is just water. Like you, it's not just like an open hole or anything. The boat eventually does under the water. And for a moment, you feel yourselves like, it's almost like your stomach, like be, like falling, you know, like in a carnival ride. Like it's weird. Like you wouldn't, it doesn't feel like you're in normal water, like being floaty in some. Like when you go through that like little bit of the funnel, the tail end of the funnel, and you're submerged in water. It's like you're on that carnival ride that takes you up the giant pole and it just drops you, you know, and your stomach goes into your throat. It's like that, and the boat then spoosh, pops out of the surface of some water, splashes down. You're all, you're Reshi and Rowan. You guys are prone on the deck of the ship. You're covered in water and starfish and jellyfish and stuff. I will bring you over here. Um, <clears throat> you look around. The whirlpool is gone. Um, the sea is, a uh, is a slightly different color. It's more green than, than this blue here. Uh, but I couldn't find like a better water image. So we're just reusing the map from last week, but the sea is way more like an emerald green or maybe that's too green, but you know, it's more green than it is like, than you remember it being. Um, and like the fish and stuff that are on the deck, like they don't look like the fish like in starfish and normal water, like water life from where you are. But more than that, you two see each other on the deck of the ship, you know, looking like drowned rats. Uh, but Tail and Vilmar are not there. Tail and Vilmar are not on the deck of the ship. Well, that's not okay, good. can we, I'm, I want to call out and see if I can like perceive that they're in the water anywhere. Um, you call out, um, I will tell you, Tail, uh, you do not hear Rashi. Um, I will tell you where you are in a little bit, uh, but from, just for right now, for where you are, you cannot hear Rashi, and obviously Vilmar can't either. Uh, so Rashi, so I can't you, see him either, okay. Yeah, when you call out, you don't hear them, you don't, like, you look around, you even like climb up to like the the crow's nest to get like a more aerial view around the boat. Uh, you don't see their bodies like floating in the water, like unconscious or anything. You know, some barrels and you know some bits of the ship have like broken or fallen off, and there's like some flotsam in the water around you that like maybe they would be lucky enough like to hold on to or something. But you don't you don't see their bodies. I mean, and you also know. Like, Vilmar is wearing plate armor. So, like, if he was unconscious, he's sinking. You know? Mm hmm. Oh, <clears throat> uh, so they are, they are, they're gone. Uh, Rowan, is there anything, like, what would Rowan be doing in this moment? Uh. <clears throat> he summons the Abeleth to give us the ability to breathe underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any of that. Um. <clears throat> shit i kind of i i i'm 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 still kind of like i'm kind of i'm in a, a daze here okay uh rowan's kind of like he's like taking his boots off to get the water out of his boots <laughs> he's kind of just like he he's looks at reshi and he's like i've like do you have any clue what what the hell's going on here um, not at all mm -mm. But what yeah. the is, fuck? It, what do we do here? Um, I don't see. I don't see little buddy and uh, angry angry bird man. Um, 
I'm, I'm gonna go I'm check on Quote. I want to see if he's I, somehow go check survived. on Quote. I, I want to look. Can I look around? Is it is there? Is it just ocean in all directions? Uh, yes, it is ocean in all directions. Uh, uh Reshi, it... you go down. Uh, Quote is still tied up. Uh, there's a bit of water. Uh, you know, in the in the ship now. I mean, you were you did go underwater. Uh, not enough. There's like no. You don't see any like cracks or anything. Like the ship's not leaking. Uh, nothing like okay. that. Uh, but some, you know, just because like you did get underwater and there's like this giant grate. And there are like windows and stuff. Some water did spill in. So, Quote is sitting in probably about I don't know two fingers deep of water, just like covers the entire floor of the ship inside. Uh, remember this area. The ship's not like made for across sea voyages it's just meant to like skirt the coast so the cargo hold is the below decks like it's all just one thing right there's not like multiple below decks in this particular right. ship because it's fairly small so you know you see like the cargo and stuff is like kind of some of it's like floating you know like little bits and pieces are floating in this water and both is just sitting there and you know he's he's awake at this point um but uh but yeah you guys are i'll put you guys here also um you guys would have had a long rest and all this stuff beforehand uh so feel free to like you know make sure that your spell slots and take healing and all that stuff is up to full even you quote uh you're you're fully rested um you guys didn't take any damage or anything during that but um <clears throat> Uh, so Quote seems okay. Uh, <laughs> Nick don't says see, is, is there 40,000 channel points to turn this ship into a spell jammer ship. <laughs> oh my god. Is there, <laughs> um, question, is there any, uh, is there any wind? Can we tell, like, are the, are the sails moving, or is there anything? Um, uh, let you go ahead and, uh, roll me, uh, D4. We'll see how we'll see what the weather's like. Two, um, there's a mild wind. Yeah, uh, the sails aren't completely taut, but you know, there's there's like it's like an average day. Maybe a little less strong of winds than other days, but you know, it's not perfectly calm. Like it's not dead. Like as if you had gotten a one. Yeah. Um. Oh, we missed, uh, sorry, thank you, Abstracto. Uh, uh, he gave you, uh, Bardic and DM Inspiration. Gave me? Yeah, Abstracto. Okay, cool. We missed that. Yay, I got all the things. Thank you, Mr. So, Abstracto. Um, as you, you are looking out, uh, around the ship, Genie, uh, mm -hmm. you see, um, kind of, but on this map, uh, let me actually zoom out here for the stream. Um, you see kind of to the south on the map. You don't know if it's south or whatever here. Um, but you see, wait, what the hell? What the hell? What just happened? Did we lose the boat? It was there a barrage. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened. I was We're now on... just currently in the water. No, you're fine. Sorry. I was on the wrong way. Um you see pop out of the water. Um something that looks like a fishy person. Oh and good, then... here we go. And then you see another one pop out of the water. You see to the north of the ship, another one pop out of the water. You see to the north of the ship, another one pop out of the water. And then almost like a flying fish, you see some just rocket out of the water and land on the deck of the ship. <clears throat> and with them, like following, following these guys is like a giant swell of water almost looks like um almost looks like a giant fist but not so formed as to be like 
visible fingers, but, you know, that sort of shape kind of comes up and splashes onto the deck of the ship uh, and forms itself uh, into a water elemental. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to untie Quote real quick. <laughs> you're, you're below deck. You're below deck. The most you have heard is, like, a couple of thuds. <laughs> I, I still gonna untie quote. I still think, yeah, I think like doesn't this Fair whole situation he doesn't have a anymore. Warrants. That was gonna actually be my first thing I was gonna do after, but now we got okay, okay. swimmers, so yeah. Fair enough. But I mean You're this whole this whole quote, this whole scenario probably warrants important question. Quote. Yes, tail. Where am I? Is, well, yeah, that, that's one thing that would be important. But um is pages on the boat? Or is pages with me? Uh Pages uh, is neither with you or on the boat. Oh, no. I'll say that. Uh, I mean, luckily you can resummon pages, so that's a thing. <laughs> Good thing that you don't have a real cat as a pet, or else this would be really sad. Yeah. That uh, is really sad. <laughs> um. But yeah, at this point, uh, I think you would know that. <laughs> Pages has uh, not uh, is no longer on the plane of existence that you are, in the sense that the water probably didn't agree with a cat, and they were unsummoned, to put it nicely. What you're saying is you drowned my damn cat. Mm -hmm. Uh, you said it. I implied it, but you said it. <laughs> oh man, did you really drown the cat? <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. He can resummon it. It's not a real cat, people. Don't get on my ass, PETA. <laughs> it's real. Um, <laughs> it's real to me, damn it. It's real to me, man. All right. Um, so, yeah, Rowan. You see um, the, uh, the ones in the water marked with the yellow dots. Uh, you can quickly see that they have uh, what looks to be like tridents uh but they're like they have like a glowing gem um where the prongs like meet the top of the staff um and then the guys on the ship also have tridents but they're not fancy uh and then the water elementals you know I mean, you've seen one of them before they're just like living water with fists <laughs> um they uh they start speaking at you um, do you know Aquin or Primordial? Nip. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, to I you. I know Elvish. That's it. Um, to you. Uh, that's what they sound like. Uh, I'm not going to do that the whole show because I just almost killed myself. <laughs> But that's <laughs> that's what they think you, you think you should kill yourself. All right. No. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Speak like that. Uh <laughs> Oh god, I can't. Damn it, Damu new Aquin. Well, you know. I'm trying to hold on, just stop. Damu was with me the whole time. You can guys I give the DM inspiration? That was great. Yeah. Uh you can. I don't have an overlay like everybody else, but yes, I'll take inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so they uh they're like pointing their they got their tridents you know they're like kind of point them at you uh one of the like we'll say that this guy over here is uh this guy here is the leader wait why right here this one it's kind of like the leader and uh, he's like motioning you to like he's like pointing down at the deck like he's like kind of like pointing like you, like points at you, and he like points at the like you, like get down. Is basically what he's flying. Are these intelligent creatures? Seems like it. I mean, because you know, like the little flying wyverns or whatever they were were intelligent. So I was asking, are they just kind of like they can do basic things, or are they like actually? Oh no, they're smart? full. Like yeah, no, Rowan, you like definitely get the idea that these things are intelligent creatures. Um, they're humanoid. Uh, they look like fish people. Like, you know, you got arms and legs and stuff. Uh, actually, here, let me... Wrong thing. Oh, I 
do this. It's the same, the same picture for both types of creature. That's sort of what the what the tokens look like. They got like, you know, hot. Yeah, they got like seashell armor on. Uh, they got arms and legs. They got like little fishy faces and stuff. Um, the water elemental, you know, just like a freaking water elemental. It's like water. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the uh, you can't really tell the difference. The only thing that distinguishes uh, the the fish people is that the ones in the water have like a glowing gem in their trident, and the other ones don't. Um, <clears throat> but what do you do, Rowan? He's he he intermittently points at you and then points at the deck of the ship, or points down, I guess. Like he could mean below decks, it could mean down. It could you don't. I'm oh, not really sure um... what he means. I uh, can make an insight check if you want to, like, try and interpret his uh, charades. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Let's do an insight check. Okay. Insight. Ooh, a critical hit. Uh, Man, he wants you I'm to surrender. Rolling. He's asking you to surrender. Okay. Basically, like he's like, get on your knees, you know, kind of thing. Uh, that's probably not gonna happen. Uh, These guys start like moving in a little bit. You gotta work up the ladder somehow. Uh, he like moves forward a bit as well. I am going to cast cower. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cast pyrotechnics. Okay, so what is the uh, source of flame that you are using this on? I've got, I got all kinds of shit on me. I'm gonna use, like, use, like, I got, I got candles, I got all kinds of shit. Okay. Can I do that? Um, yeah, I'll say lighting. I, I, does, I'll say does lighting it get a wet, candle does, is an object interaction. So does my, that they're soaking wet? Well, no, here's the thing, though. That shit's in my bag. It's my mm. bag of holding. Is, oh. it, is it wet in my bag of holding? No, no. no. Then I'm going to reach my bag of holding, pull out a candle. Yeah, you have to purposefully put something in the bag of holding for it to get go in there. And even if you were to put water in your bag of holding, it doesn't interact with anything else in the bag of holding. Like, you can okay. literally, like, put, like, some freaking, I don't know, like, like, cotton candy in your, in your bag of holding, scoop water into it, and then pull out completely dry cotton candy. Okay, so there you go. It's so, yeah, I've got, I've got dry candles on me. Yeah. Can I, can I just pull a candle out of my bag of holding yeah. and, and, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm immediately... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smoke the boat out, and I'm gonna run under deck. Okay. Uh, so I can try to tell these guys what the fuck's going on up here. Because I'm like uh, right here by the, I'm right here by the, uh, by the thing, my jigger, the stairs. I don't have like a gray fog, so we'll just use. Uh, you put it on, uh, like, just long enough, uh, for you to get below decks, uh, but it is windy out and it is fog. Um. That's fine. This is, this is more just, like, a magic trick than anything. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it does, like, within a, this, within this a round. Ninja, this was, like, my ninja powder move here. Just. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smoke bomb. <laughs> yeah, uh, so this is my smoke bomb. Advantage. So yeah, you Batman your ass out of there, um, <laughs> and you go below decks. Um, I would like uh, everybody now to roll for initiative. <laughs> All right. Given that they're oh. gonna be doing stuff and you guys are gonna be doing stuff, tail you don't roll for initiative. You're not here. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm enjoying my off time, I guess. No, that's no fun. Um, if you want. You can tell me what to do with the enemies. Sitting ready. No, I, I can just wait. I don't have to be in. Uh, 
but Where's my um... didn't know who was gonna get knocked off the boat or if anybody was gonna get knocked off the boat. Definitely didn't expect multiple people to get knocked off the boat. <laughs> Knowing that um You had the guy with a negative dexterity make a disadvantage dexterity save. <laughs> it was likely I was going in the water, my dude. I never know. You could have you could double crit or get like an 18 and a, and a, you know, no, I mean, obviously the odds were against you. But... <laughs> I was kind of hoping Rowan would go overboard. Oh man. For what I know is coming up, it would have been funny if Rowan. All right. Um, the uh the water elemental is up first uh they're not that smart um so reshi what are you doing i You're am below decks um i assume as a free action rowan has told you everything that's going on so yes yeah they i've I'm, i've i've let them be aware of the fact that there's a a whole bunch of guys up top that are telling us we need to surrender Okay, then I'm going to ask them what they want to do. Like, are we going to go up and fight? Do we want them to come to us? Like, what do you guys want to do? Because that's going to determine what like I do next. Tyrant. What'd you say? So the glowy tridents sound like shooty tridents. They do sound like shooty tridents, yes. So we can let them come to us and then just be ready? <sighs> I'm going to look for tails. How are you going to do that? You untied him, so. Oh, the cat! I'm thinking of no tails is. Tails. Man. Yeah, tails. So you're just gonna gone. jump over the boat? No, he's looking around the boat. Oh, oh, want. got it, got it. Oh yeah, because nobody made a perception check under like under below decks. Oh uh, shit! No, that's a good idea. <laughs> make a make a perception check. <laughs> One. Yeah, he's not <laughs> under the boat. At least not that you see. <laughs> I mean, he might be under the boat, but he's not un below decks. <laughs> so are we going to wait for them to come to us then? To come back to that? I, I mean... Sword. Yeah, your sword's gone, buddy. You have other weapons. Your Ooh. sword is quite likely on another plane of existence right make now. Yeah. A, uh, make an insight check, both, eh? I love all the wisdom rolls. Oh my god, I crit. You did crit. Um, I don't know if technically this should be a thing, but because it's kind of, you know, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey kind of stuff. Um, You feel the presence of your sword within the bag of holding and you can kind of you kind of know that it's moving down and away from the ship it's in like the toilet bowl. you're not sure how fast it's moving so tail's body might just be unconscious and sinking in the ocean or maybe one of these things has already grabbed him and they're like swimming away you're not really sure uh, but you do, you can feel the presence like of the sword calling to you and it's getting further and further away and it's traveling down and away from the ship. I am starting to think if we surrender, guys, these guys might bring Maybe us something to... good might happen. Yeah. Or bad, but still surrendering sounds better than them just like shooting us for no reason. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think that they might know where little buddy is. Okay, okay I'm going to walk out with my hands up in the air. I'm going to take off my underwear and wave it around like a flag of surrender. Nice. Good lord. <laughs> You're playing Quothe. What underwear? <laughs> <laughs> my All dude's right. got a loincloth normally. Um, <laughs> so you guys, <laughs> you guys go back up uh, top side. Um, you all are surrendering, um, and just one by one, 
Uh, we're starting with Quothe. So, Rowan, you hear bonk thud. You see Quothe's body hit the deck. Then oh Reshe, God. bonk thud. Roshi's, oh, Reshe's man. body hits the deck. And then smack. You just get hit right in the back of the head and the world goes black. All right. Sure. I mean, at least they didn't kill us, right? Yet? True. Yet. Um, as the world goes black, we're going to take a halfway break just a little bit early tonight. Because <laughs> I thought there was going to be a combat here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, as, we, uh, as we transition to wherever it is that these things are going to take you, uh, and maybe learn a little bit more about where you are, uh, everybody stick around. We're going to take a quick, uh, about seven to 10 minute break here. Use the bathroom, refresh our drinks. And, uh, we'll be, uh, right back to see what happens to our heroes, uh, in this possibly alien sea world that they are in. Let's do this. Hey, we're back. Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> So, um, you know, you guys, uh, where we left off, uh, you guys had surrendered, uh, to this group of, uh, we'll call them what they are, Sahuagin. Uh, these little fishy boys, little fish, mer not mermaids or merfolk, um, but they are like humanoids. They got like legs and hands with webbed fingers and toes and like fins on their elbows and stuff and uh, like little fish faces um these sahaguin um and uh yeah you uh you you your companions tail and vilmar had fallen off the boat after he went through a whirlpool uh you're in a a sea that looks very different than the one that housed the whirlpool with strange sea life kind of flopping around on the deck of the ship <laughs> um as these things appeared and they in aquin were telling you to surrender genie got the the point in here everybody surrendered and you have been knocked unconscious <clears throat> when Classic. you come to uh each one of you except for rowan rowan you're not here uh, you kind of wake up. You notice Rowan's not around. But each one of you um, are... You got uh, manacles on your hands um, and on your feet. Which it doesn't really matter because... the Other than you uh, also being, like, taken by, like, the armpits by two very, like, muscly fish people each. Um, Vilmar, Tail, Reshi... And quoth they, you realize you're underwater. Uh oh. <laughs> dun dun dun. And as that moment of panic, like, like sinks in, like, oh shit, I'm underwater. What the fuck? You realize that you can breathe the water. That you're seemingly, and and tail, you you kind of know this innately. You're a practiced wizard. You seem to be under the effects of a water breathing of water breathing magic. Uh, but you do notice Rowan is not there. Um you are you're taken you're currently being um taken through a long hallway. Um there's like brilliantly colored marble and various stonework, um, blues and greens dotted with coral pinks and yellows. Uh, you see, like, um, there's like, there's a, you see, you see a dogfish with a collar kind of swimming around the hallway. Um, it's got a little golden medallion on its collar that says Fido on it. Um, it kind of like swims past you guys. Um, you're currently, like, you're not being drugged or anything. Like, you're in the water, so you're still kind of buoyant, right? Uh, but you're the, the people kind of carrying you through here. Like, you're swimming through these hallways. Just finally, opulently, like, you're almost, 
you're kind of feeling like you're maybe like in a noble's estate or a palace of some sort. You're not quite sure. Um, but there's like, you know, just cool tile patterning on the floor. The walls are like all, you know, painted to look real nice or like it's mosaic tiles. Uh, like cool statues line the hall. Coral and other like sea plants are like spotted around here. Uh, you're as you're taken down this long hall, you are eventually taken uh, to a uh, what we only describe as a throne room of sorts. Um, so the hallway actually, at the end of the hallway that you're being taken down, it kind of curves upwards. Uh, you're floated, you're swum or carried upwards, um, and then placed along uh, the uh, western wall, at least by the map's orientation. Uh, you're placed on the western wall, and uh, you see... Let me see if I can do this from this screen, or if you have to be on the same screen. I would like to make a point of clarification that Fido will never be as cool as Buttons the Displaced Beast. Just saying. Uh, that's true. It's fair. <clears throat> oh, this is a fancy place. Is this just me and Quote right now, or are we reunited with the other people? Uh, no, you're... Like I said, you're... Everybody's... You're... Ah, tongue tied. Rowan was not with you, but it was Reshi, Quote, Tail, and Vilmar. You were okay, all I just together. Missed that part. Yeah. Sorry. All four of you were being you're all in manacles, hand and feet, bound together by iron handcuffs, basically. Uh, and you were swum down this opulently uh decorated hallway, almost palace like, and now you're in this throne room, uh, where you see this guy uh on a throne. Um his bottom half in this picture is like a watery tornado. Uh, but he is not uh, moving right now, so his he actually has legs uh, currently. Uh, he's sitting on this um, almost like a uh, you know like a fainting couch, you know, like uh, it's like a hat. It's like a really weird sort of chaise lounge esque kind of thing. He's like reclining. Um, he's got like sort of uh, he's got like a servant, like a Sahagun servant uh, next to him. Um, that has like a bowl of glowing, um, really fat looking, juicy, glowing sea, like caterpillar like things um, that he's like slowly feeding to the to this big fat guy on this throne. And uh, oh, he's like hedonism bot. Ew. Yeah, kind of like hedonism. <laughs> <bot. laughs> oh, <gross. laughs> kind of like him. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and uh um, I would like to talk to him in primordial as hell. Um, well, we can get there. Uh, but before before you can say anything, um, the uh, one of the guards that was like bringing you guys here, um, he says, <clears throat> uh, he says, uh, Sultan Baja the genie, <clears throat> we have brought you oh, the Lord. new slaves. <clears throat> For you to decide what to do with them. <clears throat> uh, he's speaking in common. Uh, but you can speak to him in primordial if you want. Uh, you see... You see <coughs> Rowan. Rowan's here. You do see Rowan. Uh, he's at the foot of the like the dais that this throne is on. So like the dais is like up a few steps like on this platform, right? Uh, and at the bottom of the dais, like at the, like at the bottom of uh, the steps... Uh, you see Rowan, uh, his hair has been nicely braided into a really long ponytail, nice. um, with like little gold ties, like quartering it off in, uh, sections. Um, name an NPC, Bobathy Gunt. Uh, is that the, uh, <laughs> Bob <of> the Gunt. <laughs> is the, uh, so the guard is named Bobathy Gunt. <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, uh Baja uh that is B A J J A Baja says uh yes yes Babathy thank you for bringing my other slaves here I will decide what to do with them they are not as pretty as this one that I have chosen as my personal servant <laughs> he eats a fucking handful of worms um you see Genie, not only is his hair like nicely braided, 
almost like I think they gave him hair extensions because he's got like a, a waist length ponytail, like braided <laughs> ponytail. It like comes around the side of him. Um, and just to very quickly put the exact image in your head, uh, he is dressed exactly like Slave Leia. <laughs> <laughs> he's got. Uh, I want to make it the, known. He's got the. They iron didn't collar. give him that outfit. It was in his regular wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. It was in his regular wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got the iron collar on, and he's, like, chained to the platform and stuff. Oh, uh, I don't... Like, at this point, like, Rowan, you've been awake a little bit. Um, You, you like, at this point, you're kind of just, like... Uh, you haven't uh, been able to, like, cast uh, spells because you're, like, all chained up and stuff. Uh, unless you have, like, verbal uh, component spells. Uh, but you do like there are um, the the yellow dotted ones and the obviously the big fat guy. They're all spellcasters as well. So if you did try to cast spells, they're counters like they've counterspelled you. Like you know, it's probably maybe not like a, a thing. So you're kind of I feel like Rowan at this point is like maybe a little bit defeated and sort of just resigned because you you had until this moment didn't know where your friends were, but mm -hmm. apparently uh, the the uh, Baja the genie has uh <laughs> sultan baja i should say uh has taken you as his own personal <laughs> sex slave <laughs> <laughs> you're all you're dressed up in like a sexy metal bikini and your hair's all nice it's braided. too late for uh, rowan <laughs> yeah he's uh and even as like he has, has has said as he decides to do what he's gonna do with the rest of them uh he's already said like he's like, i've chosen this one as my personal slave for he is the prettiest of the bunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tail, uh, if you wanted, there's a there's a natural pause uh, in the conversation. If you wanted to address, uh, if you had something to say, you can address uh, the uh, the merit uh, in front of you. Uh, I do want to do that. Give me sixty seconds. I have to be right back. Well, gosh darn it. Um, anybody else? I guess uh, if there's anything. You guys want to do? <clears throat> no, I'm just gonna see what Tails has to say. And kind of go from there. I'm going to eyeball his bag of holding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're uh, yeah. So you feel that the bag of holding is actually somewhere else, uh, within the palace. It's uh, all right. You do not have any of your equipment. Uh, all of you guys, uh, you're still in. Uh, Jobus is not in his armor. Uh, you're all basically in common clothes uh, at this point, so if basically for everybody but Jobus, you're just wearing what you were normally wearing. So Jobus uh, is in ooh, his armor? Wombat's coming. No, Jobus has been taken out of his armor. Wombat's coming in with a party. Raiding with a party of six. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, quick Woo! recap. Uh, quick recap for everybody. Um, they... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's probably dawning on our party right now, and I'll just say it for everybody. Uh, they went through a portal to the elemental plane of water. Uh, some of them fell off the boat and disappeared for a little bit. The rest of the crew that was on the ship, uh, they surrendered to a group of Sahaguin uh, guards. Uh, they were knocked out and brought to this palace, and currently uh, they are talking to Baja the Genie, Sultan Baja the Genie. Um, who is currently in a Jabba the Hut esque like reclining pose, eating glowing worms and grubs from the ocean, um, and he has taken uh, poor Genie Bra. Uh, he has taken Rowan, dressed him like Slave Leia, and taken him as his own personal slave. And we are just about to find out the fates of the other four. Uh, as Tail is going to address the Genie, you are all caught up. Tail, what is? What are, what is your uh, what are you saying? Uh, yeah, so hold on, let me get my my primordial ready. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, that actually is hard. That's hard not to kill yourself. Um, <laughs> we'll just do this for uh. the next forty five minutes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no tail is going to give the uh, the sultan a general greeting and um, try to be as respectful as possible. 
Uh, he'll he 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 picks up on your uh, your civility. I uh, greet you uh, in response, um, and uh, he uh, he says, "Ah, I like it. I like it when a slave knows his place. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you'll be a house slave, my boy." Oh no. It's good to keep the ones with respect close. Um, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> he, uh, he's gonna go in turn. Um, he says, now clearly, just by looking at this sexy one before me, I know what their skills, <laughs> their special <laughs> skills are. The rest of you are somewhat of an enigma. <laughs> Perhaps you can tell us what your special abilities are. And he uh, goes, starts with you, Reshi. You're, you're on one end of the line. He, uh, he says, you there. The one that looks sort of fish-like, but not quite. <laughs> what is your, what is your skills? How, what, how will you be of use to me? Um, does he understand me speaking common? Yeah, he's talking to you in common. Okay. Um, just, I'm a, I can, uh, I can help you fight off your enemies. If you have any. Hmm. Adept in combat. Well, I have many guards trained in many forms of combat. Is there anything else that would set you aside? No. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. What do I have? Table talk. Nothing. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, your your whole character, when we chose your subclass, you're like, I just want to punch things. That's your... That's basically what you got. I says, hmm, well... Wait, wait, wait. I got something. I got something. (laughs) <laughs> how many of your guards are as tall in stature as I am I could really help you on the defensive side because of my stature um do you mean you're looking around the room the Sukwagin are roughly human sized like you're maybe a little yeah, bit taller six, than they seven. are yeah yeah you're probably like half a foot taller than the tallest of them he says <laughs> at least you speak the truth You treat me with respect, that is a positive. Small one. We've already proven that you know your place within the ranks. What are your special skills? How will you be of use to me? (laughs) He he just eats another handful of worms. Oh my god. He's like, so right as he reaches for the worms? Yeah. I want to use prestidigitation to change the flavor of the worms. I want to make it very obvious that I'm I'm doing this bit of magic uh, to change the flavor of the worms to something I think he'll find more pleasant and enjoyable. Oysters? Mm. Yeah, you know, oyster. Yeah, they go from from worm to oyster flavored. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Roll. A, let's say roll an art. I'll give you the advantage on this. So give just a normal arcana check instead of like some other you know like wisdom or something like that. Um. So give us an arcana check to see if your magic pleases him or not. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. He, uh, oh boy. You change the flavor. You he knows that you're casting a spell, but he's like not able to like react to it. Like before he puts the whole glob of worms in his mouth, he just like. <laughs> 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 You, I thought you knew one. your. Oh. I thought you knew your place. How dare you? How Tell dare him you? Don't to poison his enemies. Mess with my food. I have a shellfish allergy. Oh How dare you? Uh, I will says, apologize for that one. He says he's he, he's like Bobbeth. He snaps twice. Bobbeth like comes over and he like 
punches you in the top of the head, like just boom, like hammer fist, like in the top of the head, you get rattled. Uh, you take one point of damage. Uh, he says, if you act out like that anymore, I shall throw you into the pits. <clears throat> hmm. Tall one, fat one. What are you, what are you, what can you do for me? Now he's mad. <laughs> Quote, what can you do for this guy? Also, um, be aware, he's mad now. <laughs> I'm really good at throwing people in pits. <laughs> Are you going to dwarf throw me and just like grab one leg and frisbee my ass down a hallway? Is that, that's what's next? <laughs> I have a diploma in pit throwing. Nice. You know what? Just uh, just for fun, roll. Uh, I'll give you advantage on this. Uh, roll a uh, persuasion uh, check. Okay. Nice, nice. He goes from kind of angry, um, uh, much like the sea can change in a, on a like in a moment. You know, going from pretty calm to a storm. Uh, he, uh, he goes from angry to just laughing <laughs> to watch you fight. The small one in the pits would be, uh, <laughs> he like coughs up some like half died, like chewed worms and was like spit. You see one of the, uh, uh, guys with the glowing tridents cast presses digitation or like clean up, clean him up, you know, like just immediately on it. Uh, and, uh, he says, I like it. I like you. <laughs> he says, yes, yes, you shall, you shall be one who makes me laugh. <laughs> Great. I'm going to have a jester outfit. <laughs> um, I thought you kind of already did, but all right. I have no idea how Jobus would act in this situation. <laughs> no, wait a minute. He doesn't have his armor, right? He does not have his armor. Or any so of his he's weapons. like this skinny, spindly nerd that can barely hold it up, we can tell now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's very live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been fake armor this whole time. It just makes him <laughs> look stronger. He has Perfect one of those. Cast uh, of Shield of Faith. Yeah, he has one of those, um, one of those like foam muscle suits under his armor. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, I mean, Joe is like a paladin. He fights stuff, right? He can cast some magic or whatever. Uh, and so, uh, without Joe being here to actually tell us like anything different, um, we'll assume that he, you know, also touts his combat uh, superiority. Uh, he says, hmm. Seems as though we have collected more warriors than. Maybe he's got a paper mache. I didn't see that one coming. I see, yeah, out of all the things you could have said, I never expected paper mache. That's Jobus. I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, man. They'll I mean, be blown like... away. They probably haven't seen much paper down in Aqualand. Yeah, it all just like dissolves. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll just I'll just double check. I mean, he's he has dragon chess as a thing. Like you can play chess. <laughs> That's about it. Um. Yeah, I mean, he's just like really good at killing stuff. You know. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> he says yes. Good to have more slaves. <clears throat> if, the, if the Dao ever make a move on us, you shall be the frontline fighters. <laughs> Unless, of course, we get new slaves, then we'll throw them out there first. <clears throat> <sighs> um, real quick, before we like move on to anything else, uh, is there anything that you guys want to ask of this genie or anything you want to try and do while in the throne room? Mm -mm. wonder if it's too soon to try out chum jokes or for Rowan to get the chain and choke the guy <laughs> I don't know I just I've seen it in I don't know I mean, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I watched Star Wars once 
I mean, more stars. You never know. I mean, you could try. Classic war star move. Uh, I'm not telling you to do it because it'd probably kill us all. But I was just yeah. Let's let um. I I mean, I'm already in a situation where I'm kind of. Yeah, I don't think any uh, Yeti just are going to be swinging in a window to save him. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I, don't, I, get, uh... I don't think I get to talk much right now. <laughs> I'm... Not with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to say something, something Rowan, like, you can. <laughs> if you want to, like, talk, like, yeah, I mean, you could probably could. <laughs> you got to do it in deep speech. He's gonna he's gonna oh pull he's gonna like pull the chain <laughs> on my neck and choke the shit out of me. You like it. Uh so uh did you Sir Genie guy, when do we get to go home? Uh he does yank your chain and said, It's Sultan Baja. You are home, <laughs> my sweet little thing. Yep. I don't really have much else there, guys. <laughs> I just critically failed. I really wish I wouldn't have crit failed that. I was gonna should have burned DM to roll with advantage. Hmm. Um you uh alright. So you guys are gonna Yeah, you guys Rowan, you stay here in the in the throne room. Uh, okay. because I had planned on a combat encounter tonight, I did not expect to get this far this early in the episode. Uh, so I don't have any other maps prepared. So we'll have to theater of the mind, uh, some of this, but, uh, for now, uh, we'll just say, uh, we'll move like over here on the map. Um, I'll move you guys here with a water elemental. Let's see. Here. Uh, you guys are taken to like the slave pens, basically, like the slave quarters. Uh, there are two uh, water water elemental guards uh, at the door. Um. Yeah, genie, you uh, we'll do it yeah, in the uh, you know. In between the scenes, uh, you are in charge of amusing this uh, <laughs> this genie in various ways. Of course. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cuts to it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of close-up and POV shots in this particular movie. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, well, you're, well, you're entertaining him. Uh, we'll go over here to the, uh, to the slave pens. Uh, you guys are in the slave quarters. Uh, you're unchained and stuff, but the doors are, like, locked, you know, and whatnot. Uh, there are other creatures here. Uh, other mortals from the material planes, you know, a couple humans, a gnome, a dwarf, you know. You know, various people. There's lots of other creatures in here as well. Uh, this is not to scale. Obviously, there's, like, more, they're a lot larger than just this small circle but again i don't have an underwater jail map to <laughs> throw up here unfortunately uh but there's lots so of we other gotta people. break out of this uh, i mean you you're that this is where you are i don't know what you gotta do um well, we gotta save genie from two there's... genies one throne or whatever <laughs> it's our 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 possessions here no 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 i doubt no. they'd give those to us yeah no, you uh, you you don't have your bag of holding, uh, any items. You're basically just in commoner's clothes at this point, and with no other equipment. Um, you see um a human, uh, kind of quickly like swim over to you. Uh, looks like he's been here for a little bit. He's got like a long uh beard that kind of goes down almost uh t to the bottom of his sternum at this point. Like he's got like long hair. He's got, like, sunken, sullen eye, like, dark circles under his eyes. He's like, newcomers! Oh my god, newcomers! Please tell me, please tell me you, sp you speak common! Uh, some of these fish people, they just, they just gurgle at you, and then poke you with the tridents to make you do things! Oh, oh god! Please, tell me, tell, tell me, tell me you have a way out of here! Tell me, tell me you can break us out of here, please! We gotta get out of here, we gotta get out! 
He like, he grabs you, Tail, because you're the smallest. He starts shaking. He's like, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> The water elemental. I'm not there, guys. So y'all, 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 y'all I, I want to know what things. noise a lizard makes when it uh, gets shaken. <laughs> I'm going to summon a mage hand to slap him. <laughs> uh, the mage like, hand. I'm talking full on pimp hand strong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you smash him. Uh, you smack him in the face with his uh, with your mage hand. Um, and he he's kind of like dazed for a moment and like lets you go. Uh, I would like to take 10 minutes as Tail okay. while they're all discussing things and Tail is going to take off part of his robes and in, in his uh, undergarments, I guess is the way to put it. Yeah. There is incense uh. and I would, I would like to attempt to summon uh, pages. Uh, okay. I do not want to summon pages as a cat. I would like to summon pages as a quipper. A quipper? One of those, uh, like, piranha fish? Yeah, well, I mean, pages would probably drown immediately, so. I mean, that's. It was the only thing I could think of as an underwater creature, all right? If you got a cooler creature, go for it. No, that's fair. Yeah, piranha (laughs) fish is cool. Um. (laughs) So yeah, you uh, you pull out your keistered incense, your backup <laughs> incense, uh, and uh, you 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 summon uh, you fu- you summon the fish version of pages. Um, Mercat or our Mercat. He's just, like, he's just got like really spiky teeth that kind of interlock like this, you know, and he's got like really spiny fins all over him. He like does like three sixty circles around you. He's like very happy to see you, uh, but he looks <laughs> grotesque and horrifying. <laughs> just like spiny Adam, teeth. Everyone in the room, I'm sure everyone's uncomfortable with him. Tail is just stoked <laughs> and basically petting the fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other slaves are like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, that thing's ugly. Where did it fucking come from? I'm and, gonna uh, hide behind uh, Vilmar. <laughs> You're the big. The big guy hides behind the skinny weakling. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's so comical because it's just a little beanpole. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got a better idea. Can he be an octopus? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, dude, full on octopus, and I want him to kind of like uh, Davy yeah. Jones in fucking uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, just kind of like beard for for uh, tail right now. Good, because the thing that I nice. was going to say is if he was an octopus, he just immediately hugs your face in happiness. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> like wraps all of his like tendrils around your face. But yeah, you can like wear him as a beard. <laughs> sure. Yeah, he, he, he's a shawl slash beard right now. Yummy. <laughs> um. So yeah, the slaves kind of, they start just like asking you about yourselves, like who you are. If you got like a plan to like break out of here or anything, um, <clears throat> do you do you do you have a plan to break out? Of here? <laughs> no, I don't have a plan. I want to ask them like first of all, how many are there in here with us? Like, there's a couple dozen in here. Okay, like there's a lot of slaves. Like obviously, it's not this big of a room. Remember, like it's bigger than this. Uh, right. There are two water elementals that are like guarding the locked door, um, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to ask him, like, if they, like, what is their routine every day? Like, um, if they attempted to escape, what happens? Um, those kind of things. Oh, uh, yeah, they say, uh, well, because we don't, uh, we, the only time we ever have access uh, to weapons um, is when we, when they're, when they, when someone is bad and they throw us in the pit. Uh, that we have to fight to survive. Um, other than that, uh, some of us are, are, our house slaves um we we do general housework you know, we cook and clean we we scrape barnacles off the outside of the palace um we you know we we clean up this the seaweed and the growing vines and and plant life that uh, come around here um, uh some of us change the filters uh you know that filter the water uh it's a very fancy place we don't you know the 
they don't like to breathe in fish poop. So we have to clean the poop out of the filters of the water that circulates in the palace grounds. Uh, and then they say, like, the, the other ones uh, are outside of the palace. Um, they tend to farms and various things like that. Uh, they're sent out as uh, frontline uh, fighters if there's ever an attack. Uh, just, you know, throw kind of like a... Just throw numbers at them and uh, overwhelm the enemy. Uh, many of us die when that happens. Do they give you weapons? Um, yes. So they give us pointy bits of, like, coral. Nice. How many, um, how many of them do you think live around here? Could we outnumber them? Um, he says, oh, he kind of like whispers in to you, he says, Oh, yes, yes, there are, there are probably twice as many slaves as there are guards. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and uh, but, but we don't, they don't give us access to weapons. Like, we'd have to find weapons. Viva la revolution! <laughs> um, and you can, like, at this point, like, you guys have been playing this game enough. Like, you, you know that I've put commoners up against you that have, like, 4 HP. Like, these guys are not... Like, they're not combat. Not people. fighters. They're not right. fighters. Like, even the ones that they force to fight are not fighters. Like, you guys are probably as strong as all the slaves combined. <laughs> right now. Where you guys are right now. Like, Tail without his spell book. Quothe without his weapons. <clears throat> Vilmar without his weapons and armor. Like, all combined with Reshi, who's, like, not hindered by this at all. Because <laughs> she's a monk and can just fight with nothing. All of you combined are probably as strong as like all of the slaves <laughs> combined. Like they're okay. they are not they're not malnutritioned, but they're like you know they're not creatures meant to live underwater, right? Like they're vitamin D deficient. <laughs> like they've been living in the water. Like so their skin and stuff is like all waterlogged and wrinkled, you know, pruned up, but worse than that, like. It's not, like, the ones who have been here a while are, like, not in very good shape. But, uh, they, you know, I'm they do mention, rotting. like, well, yeah, but that's not, like, it's not because of necessarily neglect. Like, they, they do say, like, oh, we get, like, three meals a day, and, you know, if you if you act, if you're on your good behavior and treat the sultan with respect, like, like, you don't get beaten or anything. Like, as long as you tow the, you know, as, to use a parlance of our times, as long as you tow the company line, you know, as long as you tow the party line, like, you're fine. Like, it, you know, you don't, as long as, you know, you're not doing anything to anger the merit. It's not like he just willy-nilly picks slaves to, like, fight to the death for his amusement or anything like that. He's mostly concerned with his own personal pleasure, you know? And, like, Obviously. more, like, visceral, just, like, he likes to eat, like, good food and, like, drink good. It sounds like Genie's going to get us out of here, then. Mm -hmm. You know, all that kind of stuff. He likes to tell stories, um, that kind of thing. They warn you guys, so, Genie, you don't quite know this yet. But they do warn you guys, like, never interrupt him when he's telling a story. Like, it's bad news. Like, he gets real mad. Uh, you know, even if you can tell that he's, like, clearly lying, like, you don't interrupt him with the stories. He's very vain about that kind of thing um but yeah like overall like the the most the, the the worst part about it is like these are just a lot of these guys are like you know it's like you sailors that got lost you know and transported to the material pl or to the plane of water or you know enemy combatants that you know they have act, like, gotten to capture and stuff like that so you see like some earth ganasi who are not having a good time um, you, you <laughs> not don't... having a good time. This is an easy <laughs> yeah, way to put it. There, uh, you don't see any fire ganasi in here. Uh, you see like maybe a couple water ganasi, and those are like humanoids from the elemental plane, uh, different planes. Um, uh, but yeah, like most of it is just like the environment that they're forced to live in is causing the most amount of trouble. Well, and um, getting your freedom taken away. That's... Yeah, that too. Like the so mental stress that. of being a slave. Even if you're being treated well, you know, as well as you can be, you know, while you're in captivity. But yeah, they give you food and like, it's not just like, you know, sea worms and stuff. Like, 
they'll cook you like you know fish and you know stuff like with magic like they'll give like they understand like the nutritional needs of their slaves and they keep you as healthy as they can but like there's only so much you can do you know right boy i'm gonna introduce these folks to pasta <laughs> oh, God. I mean, if you have, if you get your spell casting stuff back, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have any more components on me. The only one that I was sure that I would always have with me is enough to bring back pages. Oh. One time, yeah, that's it. That is the only thing I would keep on me. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, they didn't check your underpants. All right, but so now, what's the play? What are we now that do? you've come here, Tail, now that's on a docket. Now it's full cavity <laughs> searches for all the slaves coming in in the future. <laughs> what do we want to try to do? Well, I can't talk to you guys, so yeah. I'm kind of... I just want to know Does, what you guys are doing uh, immediately, and then we'll see what Jeannie's just, doing. I just wanted to kind of, I guess, talk to them a little bit. I mean, I know we're going to hatch up a plan. It's just kind of figuring out which direction we want to go with it. Right. Does Pages have the... I think there's an octopus. Yeah, there is an octopus stat block. Do I use that for the time being, or do I use the normal one? Uh, yeah, we can use uh, octopus. Here, let me. Uh, uh, he kills everybody, and we get free. No, uh, it's important is they are uh, underwater camouflaged. Advantage on stealth checks and find underwater. What um, if? Uh... I would like to have pages go search for our belongings as stealthily as possible and come back when he thinks he's found them. That's a magnificent plan. Should I be able to point him in the right direction? Oh, yeah, because you uh, got that. Yeah, less... yeah, yeah, you can. You can. Um, I guess octopus into characters so that you know where it is, tail. Put them underneath the cat stats for you. Um, mm, cat stats. Yeah. Um, so there you go. You got a, you got an octopus. Uh, you got a pay, you got a little octopus. Um. So, t Pages is going to, I mean, this is like the only exit. Um. Roll, uh, roll me a stealth check for that octopus. Okay. Um. And that da 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 da. Nineteen. Uh, yeah, you're you're good. The um, uh, the uh, the what you call them, the water elementals. They uh, they don't uh, do anything. They don't like really react at all. Uh, to tail. Uh, so yeah, uh, the octopus yeah, basically treat him like a normal octopus. Um, and he uh, he swims off into the palace. Uh, this place, like if you're using your like connection to him, uh, how far does that go? Uh, only a hundred feet. So I'd be able to feet. issue him a simple command to go find this thing, and then he could go find it. That's about the furthest I could yeah. get on it. So, yeah. I would like to say that in his adventures of trying to find our stuff, um, he will probably accidentally end up in the kitchen and spend about 20 minutes playing with a jar to get inside of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so yeah, you guys, uh, well, I mean, you were taken to the slave pen, so unfortunately, um, you do know that it's pretty far away from the throne room, um, uh, much more than 100 feet, um, and uh yeah there's like it's sort of like cordoned off um in like a separate area of uh the palace grounds um so you were actually taken outside of the main palace and like swum away uh to like the slave building uh to the slave pens and like tossed in here uh the octopus escapes like kind of get like a, maybe a different view of the surrounding areas like the palace grounds are huge lots of really fancy buildings um they're almost like um arabian but like circular versions of like arabian buildings so that like the onion 
kind of, you know, like Aladdin style, like roofs to them, but they're all like circular dome like things. Um, and yeah, uh, he gets like a hundred feet away from you and your sense is like cut off and you hope that pages can, uh, can indeed find out where your stuff is with the help of <laughs> Quothe's direction, like his innate sense of knowing where that sword is. Uh, we'll cut back over now to the throne room. If there's anything uh, Genie wants you, you want you want to do, uh, Rowan. Uh, I should say Rowan because the the Merid is a genie. <laughs> he is a yeah. He is a genie. Um, Remember, spitting is rude. He's currently uh, <laughs> he is he's currently uh, forcing oh you to dance. Rowan doesn't make that mistake. Uh, he's he's uh he's giving you. Um, I don't know how well this would even work underwater, but just for fun, uh, he's gotten like, uh, it's almost like pirate gold coins, you know, like they got like cool, like skulls and stuff on them and like Kraken, like images of Krakens on them. And they all have like holes that have been like punched through them and they've got gold chain kind of making like almost like a, not a full skirt. But you know, like uh, when belly dancers have like those like chain belts with like coins on them, he's got uh -huh. you in that and forcing you to dance for him. <laughs> I'm a full ass hoe. Um, <laughs> I mean, you look real hot. Oh my god. Uh. Oh god, I don't know what to fucking do here. Are there are there still tons of guards around? Uh, there are less guards now. I mean, the water elementals are gone. Um, probably here. Just take out half of the guards. Um, him over there. This boot. They're kind of like that, in like that position. Okay. Actually, uh, wait. These guys are here. Cause this is the entrance. This is that tunnel that you came up and out of, and like this goes down into the other parts of the, uh, into the palace. All so right. they're like basically uh, guarding the door, and the other ones are just kind of around the room. And you're, you're in the, you're in the this area, you know, between him and the door. You're like dancing around and stuff. I basically need to try to get back to the guys. That's what I'm thinking. I need to try to get back to you guys. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to ask, uh, oh, wise genie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think, it, do you feel like it might be possible for me to, to have a moment with my, with my, my friends, my fellow friends, it would mean a lot to me. I've been really good here lately. I've been dancing wait, wait. it up the last 20 you... minutes. <laughs> huh? You say it lately. It's like, yeah, the last 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been awesome. Can, can I, can I talk to my friends for a little bit? Can I take a break? Smoke break? He's a, uh, you can, uh, make a, make a persuasion check. Smoke. Oh break. man, you're not even going to make him do a performance check to see if he really was good or not. Uh yeah, you know what? Make a performance check. That's a good idea. Oh, I always fuck. I shouldn't have said that out loud. I always, I always forget that that's even like a fucking skill. Did I do that at disadvantage? I think. Uh, you did do that at disadvantage. Uh, but Oops. the fifteen is the left. That would have been your first roll. Um. He says. I don't want to get. That's that. That thought's a little scam. Uh, <laughs> he says, "Baby, you are with friends." We are your no. friends. Uh, you don't. We could bring your other cohorts <sighs> here should you really need to speak with them. Oh, that's disgusting. So, I really want you to know that we are your friends now. Give Gracious us a spin. genie. Give us a little Gracious spin. <laughs> 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 oh, so agile. <laughs> um, do you 
I, I, I just feel like you guys have been very gracious to me, and you've you've given me these beautiful this beautiful outfit, and and you guys are taking care of me. Would it be possible if I talk to my friends and I can say, hey, look, everything's really awesome, and then and then maybe they'll be able to like really fit in here, and we, I mean, we're my party's very strong. I think you, re, I, 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 it's very clear that, um they're capable of much more than I'm, I imagine most of the other people in the, uh, in, in, in holding might be capable of, but I, I would really love to like sell this place to them on your behalf. If you would, if you'd be so kind it's, to it's let me. It's not for sale. I, I don't mean sale literally. Like I'm not, we're, you're not, I mean like, I just want to let them know how awesome this place is and to not make a big fuss or anything. He says, well, you would know your companions better. They all seem as skilled in their combat arts. What good are they as house slaves? Well, the little one, for one, is a, is a, is, is a very, 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 um advanced little wizard he missteps at times but um his heart is usually in the right place and he's going to be very talented one day the um the big one though he smells <laughs> is as strong as i could imagine 10 of your men and I think that given a little encouragement, he could be a member of your main royal detail. Very strong. A personal guard, you say? Yes. And then the one that you so kindly mentioned was fish-like, but not fish-like, is one of the kindest beings I've ever met. Uh, she is, is deadly is she is kind also and i think that she would do great things helping out with the day-to-day -day operations of this glorious castle this glorious palace that you've 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 allowed us to stay in i just want to talk to them and let them know that things uh things here are are pretty great and and i think that we could all really really uh, do a, a lot of good around here. Um, since you since you did dancing, uh, since you did the twirl, uh, <laughs> I think I think Nixel's right. I should give you advantage on another performance check. Okay. <laughs> nice. Do it. <laughs> yeah. I was just imagining Reshi the underwater assassin. That is a double twenty-seven. <laughs> Um, <laughs> nice. He says, uh, Bobbeth, take the, take, take him and let him speak with his former friends. Thank you. Thank you, gracious genie. He says, uh, but make sure that you bring this sweet little thing back before dinner time. <laughs> I will need some entertainment while you feed me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Those are some noises. <laughs> uh, Take to the noises that uh, the genie's going to be making later. Uh, no, so I'm, I'm, we're we're about to bust you, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, let's just we'll put the octopus over here. Like he's just off somewhere else in the. <laughs> God damn it! Thing, uh, you get you the door you know is unlocked. You get tossed into the slave pens. Doors locked behind you. Um, Bobbeth, uh, the guard, says uh, <laughs> says that uh, this uh, in his, well he you don't know what he says. He speaks awkward. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he basically you get the intention that uh, you only have a couple of minutes in here. Okay. 
So I let's see here. I think I've got a plan. Guys, do you, you can you All right. I, I think I have a plan, guys. Um I think I'm going to I'm going to make a minor illusion here. Okay. Um and I'm what what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a, Oh, by the way, I say hi to everybody. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, hi. Uh, I've only got a few minutes. I think I have a plan. I'm going to I'm going to distract the guards with, uh, with with an illusion, and when they open the gate to get in here, we're gonna beat the fuck out of them. Oh. <laughs> I can tell you the math of that does not work, sir. <laughs> what What do you mean it doesn't work? There are two water elementals and Bobbit outside that door. We have there... no weapons or gear. The only one who is good to go is Reshi. So Reshi basically has to fight all three of them solo. Well, I I've got I've still got. Can't you? My... I've got you don't my need spells. weapons to cast, though. Yeah. yeah, I don't need. I've I have spells, and then on top of that, but you need components. Yeah, I, I was gonna, I was gonna do some need uh, components for cantrips. Yeah, well, you need well, a piece of police. I was gonna, I was dramatic. gonna try to do some. I was gonna try to do some in game, some like some thing, and like borrow a piece of fleece from like something one of the people were wearing in the cage. That was gonna allow me to do the action. Um, <laughs> Gross. so what about the like other 30 can we can I cause a big fucking fuss and we try to try to at least get out of here and then turn it into a Scooby Doo situation where we're running around the castle <laughs> I'm fine with that as long as he can give us the Benny Hill music I don't think I can I think that we get. I'm pretty sure DMC. Mm -hmm. Um. They only do that to partners. <sighs> they only do it to partners. I mean, Oof. YouTube does it to Oof. everybody. Um. Good thing I don't work for YouTube. Yeah, but I, we post the vox to YouTube. <laughs> Just imagine the Benny Hill music when it happens, okay, guys? <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you want to do here? Because, I, like I said, I can use. What if we do this? I mean, I don't I don't have a problem with doing that. But what if we because uh, Tail is now an octopus and he's out looking for his stuff. What if we get our stuff back and then we can find our way back to you? Or do you just want to go now? What do you what do you Page, guys think? Page is do you want to. Page is sorry. We could stir Cat shit right now up. or we can wait. I just. I, um, I, I I can let you guys know I'm safe. But I'm, so how long will it take that octopus to drag back uh, like six duffel bags worth of gear? I was thinking the only thing he'd be able to grab is probably Tails uh, bag of holding. That being said, my bag of holding has at least two weapons in it. And a spell book, a spare spell book of mine. So. Well, then we're going to win. Um. But, you know, if we Benny Hill it, he knows the direction. Uh, we can just run towards our stuff. Okay, you can I don't know, know our, where our stuff is. No, you don't. But Quothe has the magic mind compass finder to Swordville. May not be great to give him a sword, but if he's just going to go on a rampage oh, killing everything shit. around here. He, yeah. Oh, my God. This might actually work. Well, thank you. Do you hear the sword? Yeah, we already got an octopus head in that way. <laughs> Motherfucker, you, you, I'm so glad we didn't throw that, that fucking stupid sword over ship or you for that matter. I, I give him a kiss on the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you had thrown it and overboard, it, I would have just been it, waiting for you here. 
and then and then and then retch a little bit because I totally forgot that he was covered in shit and piss from being on the boat. <laughs> like, I like, think I've been through uh, enough water at this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say this is probably the cleanest quote they has okay. ever been. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. You uh you do you do uh you do remember that after um Quothe uh was taken from the the uh the throne room um they uh some of the slaves pulled off like uh he thought at first it was just like a like an indoor like you know an air conditioning like in your house you know those like little grates and stuff he thought like oh it was just like some sort of like grate or something but they, like actually unhinged it from the wall and pulled it forward it was actually like this actual like a tube like a vacuum tube and they like sucked up like all of the mud and piss like debris nice left, like that little <laughs> cloud of that was like forming around him they like suck they, it they all car up. washed him yeah <laughs> they car wash vacuum well tube. it was like after he left they just like cleaned up the water that was like befouled by quote <laughs> but he's <laughs> he's a lot he's a lot cleaner now okay all right so do we i uh, can try to it does taste saltier some... than normal though because of the water oh, okay Sorry, honey. That <laughs> was either really good or really bad timing there, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I don't. I don't know for sure. Maybe you guys know. Are these water spirits? Are they? Are they particularly intelligent? You don't remember them being that intelligent when you fought them before. Go ask okay. them for a drink of water. See what they do. <laughs> they did almost I, I, so i i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna walk over to one of the um one of the i i see i see a i see another one of the commoners yeah and they're wearing like a fleece vest all right okay so he's a rich gonna, commoner i mean fleece fleece yeah, is not it really was just a, a colder like day coarse, at sea. just like coarse yeah. coarse coarse fleece it's like <laughs> shitty coarse fleece is that is and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say do you mind if i have a small bit of this i'm gonna i'm gonna rip off a little end of it okay and yeah you don't have anything to cut it with so give me a strength check you ever oh try to God. rip you ever try to rip wool cloth <laughs> just hand it to me i would say it's probably advantageous because it's been waterlogged for a couple months now ah I'll give you a strength check. Yeah, give me a, give me a strength. A fourteen. All fourteen. Right, yeah. I've yeah. been rolling. I've been rolling good tonight, so I'm I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm feeling you good you, uh, you pull off some fleece from this guy's vest, and I'm going to use it to uh, do my minor illusion cantrip. Okay, what's the what's the illusion? The Remember, illusion. It's a still image. With no sound or movement. It's going to be a five foot tall. It's a five foot it's 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 a five foot cube. Yeah, yeah. A Bubba Gump shrimp merchandise. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Bubba Gump shrimp, huh? Half a yeah. spell is, you know, I'm not even mad. I'm just <laughs> not where I saw that one going like, at all. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is where we're going. That's where we're going. Where is it? <laughs> it's. <laughs> I don't know how does this room lay out. Where's like this? Is there like a cage of? So yeah, you guys are in a big, big circular room. Um, the the door is by this like hole that they're guarding. Uh, it's just larger than what it is here. Like imagine like every square is like I don't know, fifteen feet instead of five. It's three times the size of this room. All right, so you're moving uh, back here, back here, putting back it all here, the way on the here. other side of the room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, let me, uh, did I roll to see if he was even interested? Let me roll to see if he even, 
to see. Well, well, I was going to yell. Oh, you're going to yell? Okay. Guards! Guards! <laughs> I'm pretty sure these commoners have stolen a giant box of Bubba Gump shrimp merchandise. Oh, give me a, uh, give me a God. persuasion at disadvantage. You can use DM inspiration to make it a normal roll. You solve part I am, inspiration. I am, I am, oh, I am going to use, yeah, I'm going to use DM to make it a, Fair enough, to yeah. make it a. You have a persuasion roll because your language barrier here, right? Like, he doesn't speak common. I love how ridiculous this whole thing is and how awesome it is at the same point. I told you I've been I've been rolling hot tonight, y'all. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Musecape. Uh Bobathy Gunt is totally following for the Bubba Gum shrimp ruse. <laughs> it's the classic, it's the classic Bubba Gump gambit, you know? Classic. You've seen it time and time again. <laughs> That's shit. <laughs> Damn it. 26. Um, <laughs> Jesus fucking. Right. That is a really <laughs> convincing box of merchandise. Nineteen. You, you see, you see, like he's got like fins like on his elbows, like and by his ears, and you see them like wiggle like in excitement, and he like <laughs> unlocks the doors. Uh, he gives a command uh, to the to the water elementals. Uh, he's gonna go in. Uh, he's gonna go in for the the merchandise. So he's gonna start swimming in. Uh, you see the water elementals? They're coming in as well. Um, they start, like, beating on the commoners for stealing this merch. Uh, he's, like, he's swimming around, uh, not really paying attention to you guys. Uh, what are you, uh, what are you guys going to do here? If you're going to try and do it, if you're going to try and escape, uh, you can roll... Uh, acrobatics or athletics for me. Yeah, I'm just astounded that commoners are not safe around Genie ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that is a thing. So, look, th th while they're beating the commoners, let's get the fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna lose a hero medal in this one. Uh, I'm going to burn <laughs> my uh, my DM. Okay. To get advantage. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> I need it. it. You said acrobatics or athletics, either or. Athlete. Alrighty, let's. Oh, Bobathy, sweet, sweet Bobathy. <laughs> Rolled a twenty-one. Nice. Twelve. Uh, okay. I, I'm going to. I'm going to burn part of two. No, okay. <laughs> I need All to right. pass this. D6. The lizard wizard. Roll a d6 for that. Because that's uh, that's audience bardic, not genie's bardic. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, so a sixteen. Okay. Uh, Rashi Quote. Are you guys coming with us? Yeah. I just wanted to see if you guys would make it first. <laughs> we might have to come up with a new plan here. Um, uh, acrobatics. You've been at a disadvantage. Oh yeah, we're getting guys. We're we're... on disadvantage. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, I, had, no, 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 I was no, just no. saying, I clicked. I didn't click off a disadvantage for Vilmar, but I was saying, even with a disadvantage, you got a 25. He's still, <laughs> we're getting out of here, guys. Well, there's an acrobatics. Wow. Oh, no. you, 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 use you your have bardic. bardic. Use your bardic. You have bardic. Okay, bardic, bardic. I'm D6. doing bardic. Roll a D6. Mm -mm. No, 15 is just enough. You oh, guys let's go. swim. You guys, you guys escape uh, the 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 slave pens uh, as Bobathy is completely um, just distracted by the merch. You guys swim out before he Joy, gets your over fake there. Ass, your fake ass, fucking yeah, yeah. You guys get out. Bubba before... Gump strip merch, bitches. <laughs> Yeah, you guys escape before he even gets like fully over there. Uh, some of the other commoners <laughs> They're just beating um, the commoner. <laughs> yeah, some of the commoners have like already been like knocked unconscious by the water elementals uh, for stealing. You like, you know, you hear um, 
as you guys are swimming away, uh, now, I don't think any of you have a swim speed. Uh, so, you guys are moving at half your normal move speed. <laughs> the fish and the water elementals totally have move speeds. They're way more agile and fast in the water than you guys are. Um, Can we uh, close and lock the door on our way out? Um, you can <gasps> try. Do you have like thieves tools or anything to lock the door behind? Them? Um, uh, do, 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 do. Get to, uh, I have I a got. small knife. I could break the knife off in the lock. Well, I could have Quote break the knife because I doubt Tail can. <laughs> uh, you did you you have a knife in your butt? Oh, and yeah, you're right. You're right. I wouldn't have that. No, that's in my no. Can I, I, can I um, can can I take anything I'm wearing? Because you know they've given me that like metal, that metal gown. Could I take that and like wrap it around the gate um, door and kind of like wedge it? Yeah, take the pin out of your yeah. braid. Um, give me. That's gonna be. Let's say that's hmm, probably. Like an interest, it's it's makeshift, so uh, sleight of hand at disadvantage. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, you think you jammed the the door shut, like you uh kind of shut it, kind of like wrapped your uh, uh kind of shoved like the, one of the cups of your metal bikini. In the <laughs> so it, like in the like jam like quote they helped you like jam it into the door frame like into the like wedge it into like between the door and the the door. If we jam. can just get some space, I mean it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. yeah. Uh, There's Quothe, no boulders you, I can move. Um, like no boulder, no, no. This. this uh, All right, guys, this we've got to find. Well we've got to find. We got to find shit now. We got to. We got to. So yeah, Quothe, give me a survival check at advantage because you have this link to the. <laughs> The bag of holding because of your sword is oh, being that, in it. We got this in the bag. <laughs> uh, fifteen. All right, fifteen. Yeah. All right, we're good. Uh, I saw the get, seven first, and I was like, "Son of a." <laughs> yeah, you get uh, you get pretty like a good distance away uh, before um, you just see the doors just like bust off the hinges as water elementals like come out of the door. You see, uh, like off in the distance, you're probably good like. I don't know, 50 yards now away from the door. Uh, you can see the water elementals like shoot out. You see the uh, Sahagwin guard, Babathy gun uh, come out as well. Um, they uh, they quickly like look all around. Uh, that is, oh, they, uh, they're looking around. You guys are still swimming away. Uh, give me another advantaged survival, uh, Quothe. Okay. Okay, 14. You're not making as, uh, you're not as fast now because you stopped and, uh, you, like, watched them. Uh, they... Right, that's gonna be good enough. Uh, Bobathy does see you as you're finally, like, rounding the corner, like, almost out of his vision. Uh, he does. You do notice that he sees you guys, and you can't really understand what he's saying. But you, you know, he's making some sort of like alarm noise, like a shout of some kind. Um, and uh, yeah, the uh, that water elementals and him are starting to bear down on you. They're gonna start swimming. Um, make another uh, advantage to survival. Eighteen. There you go, buddy. Uh, so you're swimming along. Uh, that's that's that is three successes. Uh, so you're swimming along. Uh, moments after you round the corner, um, and he's like starting to pursue you. Uh, you hear like actual like bells starting to go off, like actual. Um, you see, you think they're magical. You don't think they're actual like metal metallic bells, but there's like alarms kind of going off. Um, you see like slaves that are working the grounds, kind of like look up, like see what's going on. Like various guards around you, uh, but Quothe, you successfully lead the group uh, to the uh, to the to the armory uh, where all of your stuff is being kept. But the door is guarded. 
uh, by two water elementals. Uh, and you, you're not like, so you're not close enough to actually check the door to see if it's locked, but there are two water elementals. Um, and they're on like high alert. What are you guys going to do? Where um, is Pages? <clears throat> is Pages here? Yeah, do we... Right, no, Pages um... is nowhere to be found, and you haven't reconnected your 100-foot psychic link with him. Must be in the kitchen. <laughs> I'll just... He's not out... He's not within 100 feet of you. He's Let's trying send to get Jobus to distract guards. him. Hmm? <laughs> Jobus can't take a hit very well without his armor. You just <laughs> run by him and slap him and or swim by him and slap him and keep going. I mean, if you want, if you, if the party agrees to that. Can I, can I try to charm them? Uh, what, what is, what, do you have a spell called charm? Yeah, charm yeah. person. Uh, they're not people. They're humanoid. The water elementals are elementals. They are not humanoid. Fuck me. Yeah, you're right. Well, I tried. Uh, also, is that just a is that a verbal only component? Magic. Uh, ye ver it's 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 verbal in in sight, but there's no there's no so there's no like. I don't need items to do that. Hypnotizing I shit. I don't need things to do that. Yeah, no material component on that. Just yeah, so there's no material. And somatic. Mm -hmm. I, guess. I have a question. Can, Can I cast sleep? Because it's a pinch of fine sand for its material component. The hypnotic thing I need, I need incense and a crystal vial filled with a uh, phosphoric you know, material. Just because I don't want to be a dick, I'll say yes. But I think technically just sand that you would get on the seafloor would be coarse sand, not fine sand. But... You know, semantics. So, yeah, you can cast sleep. Uh, also, Gina, I... you could charm person on the Sahagwin. I think those are humanoids. Okay. And double check here. Um... Yeah, yeah, they're they're humanoids. It's just the water elementals are not. They're elementals. <laughs> yeah, rule of cool, exactly. Yeah, I want to try it. I want to try and cast sleep at third level. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. Um, all right, yeah. Sleep at third level. Oh, boy. On the water elementals. Water elementals. Okay. That oh, is going to be I a tough sell, but go for it, man. I mean, it's I'm, like what? I'm hoping I might get one of them. You know, it's three d eight normally. Is that right? How much? No. no how many it's... dice is sleep again? Uh, sleep's normal would be uh, magical slumber. Da, 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 da. Uh... I just gotta look at the level one for it. Oh, it's five d eight. Normally. An additional 2d8 yeah, per spell so lot above. Four, so it's 9d8. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, roll, roll the 9d8. Uh, 38 plus 6 is what? 44? Uh, the water elemental seems unaffected. Fuck! I had to roll a one there. Yeah. It's true. So mark off that spell slot. Uh, they uh, apparently have either resistance to being put to sleep or uh, they have more than 44 HP. I'd bet on the HP. Not a lot of stuff is resistant to sleep. I just rolled shitty. Are they guarding a door? Yeah, The so... We're not looking at the. I don't have again. I don't have it. So it's all. Yeah, I know. I'm mind. just trying to get a lay of the land so I can but try yeah, to take it. But yeah, you have two something. two water elementals, kind of like we're guarding the slave pen that where you were kept in. Those two water elementals are guarding the armory. They're guarding a door into the armory. 
Hmm. Um, at this point, they have. Okay, I got an idea. Because you just cast a spell at them. So they, now they, they are now. they are aware of the party, and uh, we should probably um, let's just use this map here. Let's just say the slave pens are the thing. We just move us to a different yeah. Oh, I don't have another map. I don't have like a cool looking map for this. God, Sorry, fine. guys. Vinny just hurt himself, so I had to leave. Oh, you're fine. No worries. We all we did was fail a sleep check and and now we're well so fighting water elements with no weapon they may not know anything about it they i mean in, in the description of the sleep spell it doesn't say that they immediately know that you cast a spell on them or tried to cast a spell on them it's a visual spell dude like there's magical effects they see you cast the spell they might not know what it is but they see you Ooh. cast a spell. That's how magic works. You do All right, it. fair it's enough. Not subtle spell, man. <laughs> like if you He's... were under the invisibility spell and you cast that spell, like it would make you uninvisible. All right, so uh, we're gonna need everybody to roll for initiative. Well, we got, we got, we got this far. Well, I do have a couple of spells that I can do. Not a lot, though. Just... Uh, this is going to be I rough. Do, I do have to go in like 15 minutes. Uh, Yeah, me too. So... <laughs> okay. No, I just want to make sure. I just I feel bad. No, no, we're good. We are okay, good. I, can do... I don't know if you'll last for 15 minutes. So... Have you even last so long? Yeah. It's a race. I think I might it's a race. might be able to be useful here. If nothing else, we're going before the water elementals, so that's a bonus. All right, uh, if everybody's rolled their initiative, let me. How far are we away from the water elementals here? Uh, ninety feet, because that's the range of. Sp Leap. Wow. <laughs> wow. Gets them away from the door. 90 feet away. Gets them away from the door. They'll come to you. Uh, <laughs> cast <laughs> Loogie. <laughs> I mean, you can move towards him, Quothe. In like two turns. <laughs> I mean, in one. Well, you're a barbarian, so you have a 40 foot movement. Could literally get to there. <laughs> then I give go. them the initiative. <laughs> you, you could. I mean, that's his dashing. I mean, you could get to like there, here. You get to there in one move and hold an action. Hey, what are you gonna do anyway, man? All you can do is punch him. <laughs> you don't have a weapon. Well, what else do I need to do? There's nothing else. <clears throat> you could. You could well, get practice in range my and, right hook. You could get right. in range and rage and hope that one of those. Yeah. I hope you 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 pull you pull one of the ones that does the the like the temporary HP or damage. That's true. Okay, I'd also like to go... point out they're probably going to come out from the door because you can't make it the full distance, right? So that gives us space for someone to sneak in behind them, grab the weapons, and throw them out to us. So this is not a totally disadvantageous fight. Okay. Is the door locked. Don't we don't know yet. Uh, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn, baby. You rolled twenty on initiative. Okay, I'm going to move up 40 feet, and I'm going to use object interaction. I should put them like this. They're like that. And I just so happen to have the stink rock in my pocket, not my bag of holding, and it was not found. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you know what? I... We have um, talked about you keistering objects before. It is totally reasonable that the rock pocket, was one of the choice the, items. The rock in the prison pocket is totally, <laughs> totally on... DM DM should allow that. That's, uh, not, can we get a ruling? I didn't say you couldn't do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to throw it at them. Okay. I'm going to use... Uh, this is an improvised weapon attack if you're trying to damage them with a the rock. Okay, let's go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a little curve on it. Maybe I can hit both of them. So do you have the tavern brawler feet? 
I do not. Well, I do, oh. but not on my sheet. I'm going to... Uh... Well, if it's not on your sheet, then you don't have it, and uh, it's a dex check with no proficiency. Do dex check with it. no proficiency? Okay. Uh, or I guess uh, no, can you, I you can choose to use strength. You can choose to use strength if you want. Okay, let's... Do, let's. Well, just my modifier, right? Yeah, just your strength modifier. So I'm going to do talking, a... We're talking like a 1d4, though, aren't we? Um, yeah... No, one. Just it's gonna be one plus his modifier. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so I need a one d four for AC check. No, there's no. No, 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 no. I was, I was talking about the damage. Roll. There's okay. no d four. There's no d four. Roll a d twenty. Add your strength modifier. Okay, uh, three. So we're at seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, you hit it with a rock hard enough to do damage. Uh, you <laughs> do four points of damage to it because yeah. it's an improvised weapon. Which is uh, four. Just, yeah, that's all the same thing. Which is just four. one plus your strength modifier. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, if you I know it wasn't much because I've tried to do that a few times and it just... Yeah, you need the uh, you need the tavern brawler feat to make improvised weapons do more damage. If you've okay. got, you got tavern brawler, then suddenly that shit is like actually hitting people <laughs> with real weapons. Now, they should be blinded, <laughs> deaf, and, and incapacitated since it was a stink rock. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. The stink rock is not. Does that it work magical, like that, though? It was a good try there, but. Oh, so I have good. been cooking that thing in that pocket for a while. It's, it's you know, it was made with the worst <laughs> smell yeah. that I could imagine. <laughs> That, that thing has necrotic damage on it by now. <laughs> that smell is worse than it has ever been, but I doubt it has any other effects than just being really nasty. Uh, good thing. So, yeah, you throw do, this like the volatile, argument, poisonous rock. You're like, it's been, it's been sweat. Like, soak it up your sweat. It's more stinky than it's ever been. It goes right into the uh, water elemental. It kind of reacts to just being, you know, bludgeoned by a by a rock um but uh it it does not seem to react to anything else and you get the sense that it is um <laughs> immune to poison okay all right booty poison uh it's immune <laughs> damage immunities poison conditioned immunities poisoned <laughs> Along with a bunch okay. of other shit that I'm not letting you know about yet because you haven't tried to attack them with that kind of stuff, but As a, clever uh, use, can't. clever thinking, I'll give you that information. <laughs> I believe that is Quothe's turn. Tail, what's up? What are we doing? All right, I have a spell that is only verbal and hopefully it works awesomely. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to move up here and i am going to cast at third level mind thrust i need both of them to make an intelligence save Ooh. nice we know how good this went before um so here we go the first one on the left got an eight the uh, second one on the right got a one not awesome. a critical fail they have a minus three to intelligence <laughs> Wow. So they both take 3d6, right? Uh, I do believe. You can target one. Yeah. They both take 3d6 psychic damage. They cannot take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Moreover, on its next turn, it must choose whether or not it moves, does an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one of the three. Um, okay. Yeah. So let's roll, roll some. One takes 13, the other takes 7. All right. Go. Um, yeah, you blast them. You see, um, you see, like, this, like, purple kind of bead, like a marble, uh, but it's, like, roiling with, like, energy and stuff, kind of appear, like, where you think, like, if they were humanoids, it'd be, like, where their brain would be. 
and it kind of like is like royals and then it like uh almost like a sea urchin it grows these like spikes it's like out and in and back in and then the, the orb disappears um they react angrily <laughs> as best as you can tell because they're creatures made of water uh you moved you did your spell uh bonus action before we move on um i don't think there's any bonus actions i can really do here nope that's it all right rowan all right um i'm going to move up here and i'm going to cast um Calm emotions. All you attempt right. to suppress the strong emotions of the group. People, each humanoid. Well, it's not. A, they're not humanoids. I'm fucking stupid. Sorry. Never mind. Never mind. That's dumb of me. I already know they're not <laughs> humanoids. We talked about that earlier. Yep. Disregard that. Disregard that. Um. What, there was there was something else I was gonna try to do here. Tick tock on the clock, man. I was gonna. I, I okay, okay, okay. I can I bite my own arm and yeah. cast and cast bane. Um, oh, because you need blood as a component. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. All right. People uh, would take, normally use take, a fingernail uh, or something. Take one point of damage as you bite yourself to get some blood. Okay. Um, other than that, yeah, go for it. That is uh, brilliant. Big brain move. Mm -hmm. That is so, brilliant. Good job. Level two, so that's uh, when you cast a spell using a slot of second or higher, you can target one additional creature for each above the slot. So level two should cast for both of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can cast it at level one. Up to three creatures. Oh, yeah. oh it is? Level one. Okay. Well, shit. All right. Can I do level yeah. one then? Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, uh, no reason to upcast that particular Charisma case. save. One on the left gets five. One on the right it gets an eight. They both fail. They both are baned. All right. Cool. Um, um, I don't really think I have anything else I can do here. Only My only bonus action is... Uh, healing word but I've only taken one hit of damage there's no reason for me to do that shit yeah I'm, I'm good I believe the mark get to like here ish uh, easy say he's like swimming up and kind of at an angle it seems like he's gonna go flank uh Reshi what are you doing all I can do is move right now because I'm too far out so I'm gonna get up to where Quothe is Okay, are you gonna like hold an action? 40 here? feet of distance, right? Well, you can also dash, like you could swim more. I'm actually being nice to you guys. You're supposed to, hit, to be. Though. You should be actually, you should all be moving at half speed. I'm being nice to you and not and just waving. Oh. You. I'm waving, yeah. you, but if you wanted, you could go 80 feet, but you wouldn't be able to, like, you still wouldn't be able to attack. You couldn't get up there. But you could. Um, yeah, this. I mean, you, you could ready in action for if they you know, swim up to you guys to try and punch you and shit. I could hold uh, my breath weapon, which is, I would Ooh, freeze yeah. them potentially. Yeah, you could do that too. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'll hold breath. Five minutes. Yeah. Huh. We'll see what happens here. We might uh, we might have, to, we might lose Rachel to try to finish this. Yeah, you guys can quick. go. Yeah, I was gonna say don't but, stop because um, of me. I'm so sorry. It's all good. They were supposed uh, to be Friday night, and then they switched it to Saturday. And then I didn't realize it when I signed up, and I was like, "No oh, shit." You're the worst, Rachel. I know. <laughs> the worst. Tell them to switch it back to Fridays. I know. Yeah. They are. Uh, they're gonna zoom on up here like this. I guess so. They would oh. trigger your uh, your breath when they got to about there. I do believe. So like Fifteen foot cone. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's a con save on their part, I do believe. Yeah. It is constitution. For two cold damage. Wow, that's Ooh, gonna oh. really wreck them. Ouch. The one on the left was a nine. The one on the right, it gets an eight. Oh my god. <laughs> they actually are good at constitution, too. I just rolled like dog shit on those rolls. 
Um, <laughs> uh, they're going to take uh, some amount of cold damage and they're going to move forward. Uh, because of Tails' spell, that's it, right? That's all they can do? That's all they, they can do until the end move. of their next turn. Yeah. They swim nice. fast. Like, they are fast fast uh this you you think tail because you know you cast a spell about like like i i'm not like i can't dash on my turn that's their move speed maybe not even their full move speed they're fast as hell yeah they they fast they fast as hell um but uh we we're going back up to the top of the round rachel thank you for playing if you want to shout out uh anything that you're doing this week before you go let us know uh, we'll probably be right behind you raiding into Lich here in just a couple of minutes. No worries. Um, we're just doing our normal Thursday night podcast. Come see us there. I'm sorry to leave so early. Thanks for yeah, having no me. No problems. I did not expect you to right, get into a fight in the last 15 minutes of the show because <laughs> right, the last of casting sleep on a water elemental. <laughs> it was worth a shot. It, it was worth it a was shot. Good. No, I love it. No I'm worries, sad I'm yeah. missing it. Uh, thank you for hey. thank you for stopping by. Uh, Oh wait, you're gonna are you guys doing Discord? You know what? I'll just keep yeah, I'll keep my scene up until you're done. Well if you guys are are you, you guys won't be using able to. Zoom or Discord? Oh I can't. Yeah, you guys are gonna be going into Discord. Okay. Um, Throw critical hits. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can stop here, guys. It's okay. Yeah, I mean we're yeah, not dead yeah, yet. We, could, we we can wait till next week. Yeah, we can wait till next week because that'll give Vilmar a chance to do stuff. Uh, so we would normally, I do have scenes for when one person is missing, but as we learned this, uh, before stream today, it's all broken as shit. Out. Cause, uh, we haven't used those scenes in forever. And so I haven't been, uh, fixing them when things go broken. Uh, so yeah, we'll call it here. Um, we, uh, we already talked, uh, to our, uh, lovely, lovely, uh, Rachel here. Just smile and wave the camera. Put you up in there. Big thing. Go check her out on Thursdays on bread under bread underscored and underscored buttered here on Twitch. Uh, someone can hit the exclamation point team in the chat for us. Uh, San Gretti, let them know what we're doing this week. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, what? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, San Gretti, let, let us know what you're doing this week. Uh, this Monday, as in every Monday, we will be doing the Speakeasy. This will be, I believe, number six for us, where we do a cocktail and a movie. Uh, the original plan was to do The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Unfortunately, because of shipping, that doesn't arrive till December 3rd, so we will actually probably be doing a Thanksgiving-themed movie, uh, and we'll get some kind of cocktail that works with Thanksgiving. Is it like an ABC family holiday movie? Like, they make Thanksgiving yes. movies? They do. Um, I was thinking I might do uh, Freebirds. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's Never about the. Uh, it. Yeah, it's an animated movie about turkeys. It's kind of funny. It's a cute movie. <laughs> All righty, um, Genie, bro. What are you doing this week? My friend. Uh, it's <clears throat> it's gonna be the usual mix of stuff. Um, I think I might do some GTFO this week. Uh, we're gonna hop around to a few different games. You know, the usual kind of. Oh, sorry. Uh, not... Misery and self-loathing and, and visual effects. And hey, yeah. I put in the wrong. I told you to do the wrong command. The team is the heroes approved. You should go follow all of them. Exclamation point players is all the players, all our cast members here. Uh, so uh, those links are now in the chat. Uh, go uh, go check out all of uh, all of our wonderful cast members here. Uh, Chad, what are you, uh, what you getting up to, Mr. D20? Uh, normal stuff, uh, stream two or three days a week, uh, focusing on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, might do a little Tarkov, mainly focusing on FPS, a little indie gaming here and there, been playing a lot of Valhalla, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, kind of dry oh, till okay. Cyberpunk comes out. When is that coming out, by the way? I heard it was. Uh, it's I got not goofed, and I heard that it was <laughs> delayed not. indefinitely. But I think that was a goof. I don't think it is delayed. I just the, saw like the, a pre-order ad for it, so it's yeah. It's it's gonna happen. It just might be a little while. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> we'll thanks. get it in twenty seventy seven. Twenty seven. Exactly. You gotta, you gotta trust the process. That's you know the long con. It's it was right in the name the whole time. Like what were you guys complaining about? We told. You. Uh, well, thanks everybody for hanging out this week 
Uh, I'll be back on Monday. We are partway through. We're in the Ds uh, for the different uh, effects that powers can have for the Mutants and Masterminds 3rd Edition uh, rule set. Uh, Heroes Approved this coming Thursday is going to be on my channel. Uh, I'll let you know times and all that kind of stuff during the week. Uh, but we're going to this week be doing uh, Dawn of Worlds which is a world building thing and we're starting like a new heroes approved like world that's like for the whole stream team uh and the campaign is going to be powered by mutants and masterminds which is a really cool classless rpg system so literally it's one of those games where anything you can think of you can do and i've been over the last week uh starting last tuesday i've been going through the rules and like reteaching myself how to play because it's been uh seven years since i've played that game uh and we are like in the thick of it right now we are learning how to build powers and what powers can do and just how varied things get in that game. Uh, so yeah, check us out, check out the stream, come get those channel points so you can interact with us here on the show. And, uh, I'll be streaming Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at around 3 PM Eastern time. Uh, it's noon Pacific. Uh, we'll be working on DC adventures. And when I'm done with that, we'll be going back to art stuff. Uh, Maybe some, maybe some comic stuff for volume one of the Osrin Tales. Getting that collected. Should be available early next year. And uh, yeah, we're going to play the credits. And uh, we'll uh, see you over at Lich's channel. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. What the fuck, Fowl Sham?